Played again is a strong way to say that. That's a very strong way to say that. Get your finals picks in, dude. AFCON and Asian Cup. Late again. Pierre, thank you for the 19 months, dude. Appreciate it. Time's been a double zero since Trasardino scored on Sunday. That's not his name. You can't fool me. Hockey Soda, thank you for the 35 months. Stones, thank you for the 29 months. Lonely Fermenter, thank you for continuing your sub. Flying all night, thank you so much for the prime. Eamon, thank you so much for the 25 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Soap McTavish, thank you for the 17 months. Your picks. Nigeria and Qatar, that's safe. But if you want the world to burn, you're going Ivory Coast and Jordan. What I do know is I'm rocking with Jordan, dude. Hex, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Klaus, thank you for the seven months, dude. Thanks for spending five more dollars at Jeff Bezos' money. That's what I'm talking about. Zealand play Fortnite. I actually never really played Fortnite. Fun fact. I've only played it with friends. That was when I was, like, in college. Horatio, thank you for the seven months. Network game? Thank you for the video on Roy Krishna, inspirational stuff. Never let somebody tell you you can't do anything, man. Never let somebody tell you you can't do anything. Boyan Bogdanovich traded to the Knicks. Hell yeah. That's fun. That's at least my local basketball team, and Bogdanovich is a good player. We'll take that. But Torciano, thank you for the 11. Nearly a year, nearly a year. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Thanks for all the mo uh, fun moments and FM tips. You got it, dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Enjoy the ad-free experience you've now cultivated. K-Doll, thank you for the year. Guten Abend, meine friend. See, I took German in college, so I, I know that's good uh, Good evening, my friend. I guess it is evening in Germany, perhaps. Chow Yang, thank you for the four months. I was blue-carded once. Ten minutes is too long for that. I, I'm going to be honest with you. you. Do you guys know what the blue card is? Anybody anybody hear about the blue card? Let me find the reporting on that. Anybody else hear about the blue card that they're very excited to unveil? Uh, what was it? Telefootball? Was that who announced it? I don't know. Yeah, Telegraph. Uh, exclusive blue cards to be introduced for football sin bins with players removed from the field for 10 minutes for cynical fouls or dissent. It is. And they, I want you guys to know this exists in a major international sport already. That sport is called ice hockey. And it works. It absolutely works. You remove the player from the field for a certain amount of time and then they come back. I know it'll it, it I it, it'll feel very weird, especially when you're at the World Cup and somebody's getting sent off for like ten minutes feels a little long, but but to be perfectly honest, while it is going to feel very weird and it you know game's gone and what like the game evolves to make it better, and I've long felt like there needed to be a punishment somewhere in between. You're not on the field for the rest of the game. And here's the yellow card. Don't do that again. I have long felt that there needed to be something in between those two. I have long, like, I, it, it, it makes sense. I understand, unlike, you know, most things, I guess that this would be FIFA or whoever's like dictating the rules within FIFA. Um, I, it, unlike most things that they're doing, I feel like there is at least a logical explanation for why to do this. Uh, will, will it feel weird? Do I trust referees to be able to apply this fairly? No, it'll take time. The same way VAR takes time to learn. Uh, awesome. I all cool. Thank you. I'll familiarize myself and talk about it tomorrow, but I appreciate it. Uh, Blastoise, thank you for the four months. <laughs> Oh, how will it work? What if you get it again? Is it still a blue card? No, I would assume if you get two of them, then you're just out for the whole match. I mean, it, uh, uh, dude, if you get... So a blue card would essentially be... Uh, the way I would set it up 
chat. The way I would set this up is if you get a yellow card, then you get another yellow card, you're blue carded, and then you get another yellow card, you're out. You can also get a straight blue card or a straight red card. It's a yellow card plus. But if you have, yeah, dude, if you, there, there should be no second blue card. Yeah. This will kill the flow of the game. VAR killed the flow of the game. If you were in love with flow of the game, VAR already killed it. Right? 10 minutes is a lot. Uh, for example, in ice hockey, which, look, ice hockey is a shorter game. Uh, ice hockey is 60 minutes instead of 90. Uh, the punishment is two minutes. If you commit uh, an, an infraction, you're in the penalty box for two minutes, and your team is playing down a player. Uh, now, also, granted, in ice hockey, it's 6v6, not 11v11, so missing one player is more important. So 10 minutes, you know, given there's 30 more minutes of action, give it, like in terms of the competitive balance in ice hockey when it comes to the, the punishment is, is on. So according to Telegraph Football Chat, this is happening. This is something that they are working on instituting right now. So this isn't like, oh, will this be a good idea in the future? This is something that they are talking about implementing right now. I like it. I think that it, while it will feel weird, I think there is room in the game for a punishment that is not just sending somebody off. It, yeah, it's going to be play tested, which means they'll put it up in youth leagues first. That's usually how this works. At least when they play test something in like baseball, they put it up in the minor leagues first just to see how it plays, and then they'll move it up to, like, the top professional ranks. So, Sonny Surfer said, got to say, chat, blue card idea is the stupidest idea you could implement to football. See, I think there's an actual, like, I think there's an actual logical explanation for why you would want this, though. It's, like, a logical explanation for why you would want this. Like, it is for infractions that are bad but not this player needs to be removed from the field immediately right if you're trying to snap somebody's leg off right or you deny a clear goal scoring opportunity you get a red and you're out there is plenty of logic to needing blue cards i think there are plenty of challenges where you know somebody's foot bounces off the top of the ball and the studs catch the calf the people people look at it on var they come back out and give them a red card and i'm like dude they weren't even really trying to go for a particularly malicious tackle especially when you watch it in like full speed you know what i mean there are a lot of those especially a var reversed like turned into red cards when you slow it down and watch it in slow motion you're like ah that's a little that's a little tougher than a yellow but then you end up you know send a guy off for the last 60 minutes of the game you completely change the rest of the entire game yeah it's another thing for refs to get wrong i mean Refs have always gotten stuff wrong from the beginning of time. They, they're they're going to get stuff wrong in the future, the same as players are going to get stuff wrong. But yeah, all you got to do is your best to set up the rules of the game so that the game can be played out as effectively as possible. Why is blue? I, for colorblind people, I would imagine. So you'd have the yellow card and the red card, which are already hard enough to tell apart, and orange is literally in between the two. And while that makes sense in terms of, like, a logical progression, it's really hard to tell the three apart, you know? Bergie, thank you for the six months in advance, brother. Thank you for supporting the stream. I know that not everybody's going to agree with me, right? And, it, and, and I do agree with you guys that it's going to feel super weird. The, like, the idea of a blue card is a fundamental change to the fabric of the game. It's going to feel bizarre. It's going to feel like what's happened to our game. Somebody's going to get a blue card when everybody thinks they should have gotten a red, and it's going to be a giant debate. But I think in terms of fixing an issue in the game, I think a blue card does that. Particularly in second yellow card cases, if that's the way it works, I think sometimes a second yellow card, just getting a guy off the field for 10 minutes is a, what, a much more fair punishment. New offside rules got awful. I actually, I feel like I've heard that secondhand, but I haven't gotten my, I haven't gone after the primary sources for that. What's the issue that needs fixing? That red cards are too severe a punishment for what they are applied for. 
especially second yellows. How often do IFAB uh, changes fix everything with football? Do people like people not remember what it was like before VAR? I know VAR is annoying and breaks up the flow of the game and is applied terribly at times, but you could get away with some crazy <laughs> before VAR existed. You know, you could get away with some crazy nonsense before VAR existed. No chance football. Okay, so Salabus, I, I, we've been kind of the opposite side of this. No chance is football better with VAR. It just is. Football, football just is better with VAR. They're still learning how to apply it. They're not doing a particularly good job of making it efficient. The referees not being able to talk to the crowd and the teams, uh, which is something that in American sports we figured out very early. The referees have a microphone, and they announce the decision to everybody, uh, and, and that makes it work a lot smoother. But having VAR, I mean, that having VAR saves us from some of the most frustrating parts of the sport where somebody would get hit in the chest and pretend to go down like they got hit in the nose with an elbow and the person would get sent off and you couldn't look at it. That was it. Yeah, the idea of being able to video review obvious mistakes is not an issue. It's the, it's the way the officials are applying it, and they're still learning too. They're going to get better at it. Why well, I don't even think of Hand of God when I think about VAR, because that was so long ago. I think about, what is it, the Lampard goal? Even, thank you for the five gifted subs. Like World Cup, the goal, the ball goes over the line. And everybody and their mother around the world could tell it was a goal within like five seconds, but they couldn't look at it. Now you introduce goal line technology, then you introduce VAR, which is able to catch obvious offsides, right? But thank you, Iman, for five gifted. Thank you for supporting the stream. And if you got a gifted, say thank you for getting the ad-free experience. Be kind. Henri's handball against Ireland. Yeah, that's another good example. That's another really good example. You want VAR there to reverse obvious mistakes. I, I, I am annoyed with the way VAR is applied to offsides. I think that's become a little insane. Um, you know, I, I think the linesman should still be trusted to make most of the calls. And then if it's an obvious miss, then you go back and look at it. That's if I was king of the world, which I'm not, that's what I would do. Technology works for right or wrong decisions, not subjective ones. I think the blue card is a good idea because it offers another subjective option. I think that referees, depending on the ref, will either attend, like, this varies by referee, and this is not the way it should be applied, but it definitely varies by referee. Some referees will seek to apply the rules exactly as they are written, right? It's like the difference between judges, right, in a, le in a legal system. One referee will look to apply the rules exactly as they are written and not take into account the flow of the game, and will just start handing out yellow and red cards as such. While other referees will not hand out a red card for a particular offense because they know how much it will affect the flow of the game, or maybe it's early in the match or whatever. And I think blue cards give referees another tool because the whole point of cards and referees, guys, if we, if we roll all of this back to why do cards and referees exist, it's to keep control of the match. It's not to ruin the match, right? It's to keep control of the match. And I think giving referees a blue card, adding a blue card to the game, gives them another tool in their tool belt, to not ruin the match, but keep the match under control. I think that's I think that's the truth. My team Leverkusen's doing so good. You guys are really impressive. Yes. Isn't that what a warning is for? I mean, yeah. Look, I'm just saying it gives them another tool in their tool belt to more appropriate, like to do better, keep control over the match. I mean, yes, there is there is the idea of the warning, right? You say, hey, man, especially even after a yellow card, somebody's on a yellow card and they give a tackle and you go. This isn't replacing the concept of a warning. It's just adding another tool to differentiate between infractions that should be red cards and infractions that might be red cards but probably should just be 10 minutes off the pitch.
Refereeing is the issue. Yeah, you want to know part of the reason refereeing is the issue? It sucks being a ref. I know we can't change the world by just having that conversation here, but can we stop being so mean to referees all the time? Because why the hell would anybody want to be a referee? Those people are getting death threats all over the place. Like, being a ref is really hard. You're running around with Killian Mbappe, and you're, like, expected to keep up with him and be able to call a foul. These guys are professional floppers. Like, it's really hard to do that job. They get dumped on all the time, and people wonder why. Why does nobody want to be a referee? Like, you can disagree with a call, but stop abusing the actual person. Like, with very, with very rare exceptions, they are trying to do their best, and they don't want to mess it up. Bro said it's not hard to be a referee. I mean, if you're refereeing your local men's league game, yeah, it's probably not that hard. But if you want to go step out there and referee a World Cup final, can you even imagine the amount of pressure that goes into that? The threats to your life, your family's lives, on every call that you make. The amount that you have to run. 99% of us here can't even run that much. But I, I'll never accept the idea that being a referee is easy. It's it's unbelievable. Like, they're usually wallpaper, and it's, it's that way by design, right? The best refs you don't really notice. But... The act, like, if you think about what goes into you're refereeing a World Cup final, you're refereeing even a Premier League match, think about how many people are emotionally invested in that. Then you're calling every foul. You're in the middle of the action. You're talking to every player. You hold the cards. That's a tough job. And then you add in the physical aspect of it and, you know, managing the rest of your officiating crew, managing the benches, like, True, that's before you get into the financially invested types. Yeah, I mean, trying to bribe you or no, just, just the number of people that are going to be super mad if a team loses just because they put their entire mortgage on it. It's solutionism. I mean, I think it's a good idea. I could be wrong, right? I understand the idea that like, well, if refs just made better decisions and were clear about their decisions then maybe we wouldn't need a blue card. Well, I think a blue card is a very nice middle step between here's a caution and here's a you're off the field for the game. Ray Jamar, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Thank you for the prime. Can't believe Ronaldo's 39. Yeah, dude. I mean, he's been playing for like 22 years, the top level. I mean, how like how like how many people here are twenty two or under? Because then Ronaldo has been playing top level professional football your entire life. It shouldn't be that mind blowing how old he is now, because he's literally existed your entire life. You know. Ain't that just the craziest thing? I've watched his whole career. I'm old. Yeah, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. I got born on the day he won the UCL for Manchester United. What was that? 2000. Hell, I had no idea. He has a couple, right? 2008. I was going to say 2010. Didn't they play in the final in 2010? I think they did. Uh, we've got Mets at home. We are just absolutely cooking. What else happened? I think they lost the final in 2010, didn't they? I'm I'm rusty around that because I wasn't paying attention to the uh, to Champions League at the time. I was a uh, 13-year-old American. Gaming Charlie, thank you for the 28 months.
I love Brock Purdy, man. Last pick in the draft. You know, what are the odds of being the literal last pick in the NFL draft? Last pick in the draft. Dude looks like a 15-year-old Coles model. Quarterback in the Super Bowl. I hope he wins. They're, they're going to be underdogs, though. Being able to win those tough games is a skill, and the Chiefs have it. And aces and spades. Wiki, thank you for the two months, my dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. But, yeah, Charlie, it's a good game. Like, it's two of the best teams in the NFL, no doubt. Yeah, there's no fluke there. This is like an FA Cup final between, like, you know, freaking Liverpool and Manchester City, right? These are the two. These are two of the teams that you're like, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, which, which is good because not every Super Bowl is like that, obviously. Sometimes there's a team there that you're like, ah, I have no idea how they got there. Uh, oh, yeah, we signed Jan Schu uh, Schumacher. That's how he ended the stream on Tuesday. I totally forgot about that. But uh, Vegas has the 49ers winning by plus two on odds, though. Yeah, that's why everybody's picking the Chiefs. We have no worries. Soccer is a universal language. He's a real player of quality, Jan Schumacher. Oh, yes. Well, chat, we're off and moving. We're shaking right at the beginning of the stream today because Seydu Toure is on the move out. Ugh. Sign CD Jata. That dude is freaking electric, but I don't think we'd be able to sign him. Not right now. The sale is in. Seydu Toure for $8.5 million. We signed him for a measly 1.1 from Southampton last year. We appreciate his contributions to the team and the healthy profit that he's made us. Where is he going? Albacete. He's going to Spain. Let's go. No, but I my my pick, I'm rooting for the 49ers, but my pick is the Chiefs. I'm rooting for the 49ers, but I think the Chiefs are going to win. That's the uh, that that's the deal. I'm rooting for the 49ers, but I think the Chiefs are going to win. As for the Asian Cup, I'm rooting for Jordan, but I think Qatar is going to win. <laughs> it's the exact same situation. I'm rooting for Jordan, but I think Qatar is actually going to win. I would love... For Jordan to win, but they are the underdogs. They have to play a very, very, very good game if they're gonna if they're gonna pull that off. But they did just play a very, very good game against South Korea. So why would I why should I doubt them? I've got no reason to doubt them. Why blue and not green? I'm sure the color was thought about way too much. It's far enough away from yellow and red. Oda Bear moved. He's going to Crystal Palace. Everistus. Thank you for the 23. Hey, all. Next month, you get your diamond bacon, dude. Thank you for the prime ski. Thanks for supporting the stream, brother. And Cove FM, congrats on the Twitch child. Lake Jamar, thank you for the two months. Vamos. Vamos. They are the three primary colors. Are they? Man, I haven't been in first grade in a while. I know red and blue are. I guess yellow is the third one, isn't it? Thank goodness I can play video games. Am I following the CONMEBOL Olympic qualifiers? No, but I did see an off tweet that Venezuela's made it. Has Venezuela made the Olympics? Venezuela's made the Olympics. Did that happen? I mean, we can look it up. I have the technology. Honmebol Olympic qualifying. The pre-Olympic tournament. Oh, yes. 
Well, I mean, their group was Ecuador, but I bet Colombia with the zero points. Yo. Ayo. Oh, what? 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 Venezuela needed to beat Brazil on the final day and they did? Are you kidding me? Do you know how crazy that is? Excuse me? Venezuela's under 23s beat Brazil's under 23s on February 1st to get like, I mean, Brazil's going to. I didn't knock Brazil out. They'd won the first three matches, but Ecuador is over here having played all of their matches already. Like, well, as long as Venezuela doesn't win, we're going to the Olympics. And then Venezuela won. They're not qualified yet. Oh, come on. It's a ra It's a double round robin. It's not just one. Shut up. Does it really say? Uh, matches played 22. Yeah, well, that makes no sense. They need to end top two in the final round. Oh, there's another round. Holy cheddar and bacon, Batman. Okay, so they, this win over Brazil got them into the final round, which is now Paraguay, Venezuela, Argentina, and Brazil, which is convincingly upside down. Paraguay's under 23s beat Brazil's 1-0. Argentina and Venezuela, thanks to a 100 minute, 100th minute, one minute pen, drew 2-2. So Venezuela right now is somehow in there. They play Brazil, and then there's a Paraguay-Venezuela match. So there's, dude, only two teams go to the Olympics. That's crazy. Only two teams from South America going to the Olympics. But I guess the Olympic tournament is smaller. You got to make room for uh, that one Oceania guaranteed spot. Yeah, is that Thiago Amada? That is Thiago Amada. Kid's a beast. Venezuela, this would be, just finish like this, dude. Venezuela beats Brazil. Paraguay draws Argentina. All of a sudden, it's 4 4 1 1. They're 4 4 2 0. And Brazil beats Argentina. And they would both go through. I'm rooting for it. That's awesome. No, I hadn't been keeping. When are the matches? The 8th and the 11th? Do you think that's on, uh, like, flash score? Oh, so, like, today. They play today. I didn't know what day it was. They literally they play today. South America, Olympic qualify yeah okay so they play at three. Oh shoot they play at 3 p.m eastern time optional future fee are you is this a joke oh stella no god god i'm not sending him back to south africa man he's got a new deal i want him to get some playing time his name is lelamella bad boy get with the freaking program okay Ratsmasan, thank you so much for the prime, dude. I never watched Olympic football, never cared. It's fun. You're kind of missing out. It's a pretty good time. Like, it's obviously a modified U23 tournament, but it's a good time. You know, it's like watching the highest level youth tournament, basically. Except you do get each country's star playing with the team. Like, Messi would be with Argentina or, you know, because they're able to bring up three over 23 guys. Bentley, thank you for the seven months. Can you please give me a blue card and time me out uh, of chat for 10 minutes? Uh, you should probably recall him. Awesome. So they did recall Victor Moreno. I didn't want him on my roster anyways. <laughs> that was comedically humorous, Jim. Comedically humorous. We got him recalled. Uh, important player. Oh, Nimes Olympique. Oh, that's a good, this is a good deal. This is a good deal. 
Let's try, uh, let's try like 50. Okay, they're very much like, what if we don't do that? What about 30? Okay, we might be able to get 120,000 a year. No, they're, uh, they're locking in on this. I don't care what his preferred position is. Does that make it better? Ow! No, wasn't even orange. What do you mean? Belgium would be good for bad boy. Yeah, that'd be nice. It's going to be a top club after this season. I mean, freaking, I hope, dude. But, I I mean, we're not anywhere near that right now. Paraguay beat Brazil in the pre-Olympic. Yeah, we were just looking at it. So did freaking Venezuela in the last match of the previous round. They don't have the budget, man. Well, I didn't know that, Bob. All right? I didn't freaking know that. Also, can we get a, dang it, can we get a shout out to the, the greed is all over the place. Shout out to Matt Turner last night or yesterday. Freaking Matt Turner, who's been getting utterly dumped on. Fine, I'll take I'll take your I'll take your stupid deal to send Lalamella Bad Boy down to the second division so he can get regular playing time. I was so happy for Matt Turner making that big penalty save. Because obviously he's gonna get replaced at Nottingham Forest, but just to prove that he's like able to contribute, get back on the horse, you know. He actually made saves. Kyo Sang Hyun. Darn good player. No spot to register him in my team right now, uh, which isn't necessarily my desire anyways, but I, I really appreciate him as a player. So we wanted to trigger that release clause at 550000 and bring Kyo Sang Hyun in. I see. I, I mean, we knew, we knew we had that foreign limit on. So the real question is, do we want to move somebody in order to open a spot for him, or do we want to try and find a loan? I think we try and find a loan for him this year. So Matt Turner is trash. He can be good. He's just in terrible form. He's also, he has no actual technical goalkeeping ability. It's all instincts and vibes, which is when on, on things like that near post goal by Gabby Jesus, it really kind of gets exposed because he's very untrained. You were talking about a guy that was not recruited to play in college, had to walk onto a team and win the starting spot, was not drafted into MLS, had to play in the reserves for years and work his way up from the fourth goalkeeper at New England uh, to being the starter. Wasn't the first choice for the U.S., but Zach Steffen missed the Gold Cup because of an injury, and he shows up and wins the job. Jeff, that's the point of the channel, dude. I'm glad you uh I'm glad you 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 drop by to support the stream. Thanks for the 16 months. Yeah, so Matt Turner didn't receive any like high level academy coaching. He didn't receive any elite coaching until he was like 25 years old. So he he's somebody that is more of a natural goalkeeper and less of a you know, let le le he's less of a, a well, you know, he doesn't have the refined technique. He's probably he's showing up at Arsenal probably and they're doing drills and he's like, what's that? What are you, what are you, what are you guys doing? Flopping around on the ground like that. Does the U.S. have a decent keeper in the system behind Turner? Gaga Slanina. Very good. Does Matt Turner wear eyeliner? No, he just has great eyes. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he does. But yeah, Gaga Slanina is probably the long-term starter. What do we think of this loan? We send him to Bristol City to go play in the English Championship. That immediately strikes me as an incredibly weird move if we did that. That would strike me as incredibly bizarre. We just send Hyo Sang Hyun. But hear me out. 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 Now, Matt Turner is an excellent penalty saver because he's an instincts goalkeeper, and penalty saving is just all instinct. Yeah, he's, he's, he's an instinct shot stopper that's had to brutally try to learn everything else. He works his butt off, but he's very mentally tough. He just doesn't have that high-level technique of most goalkeepers that you'll find in the prim. They want to play him, so I'd take it. I, it the, the big reason 
that I would probably take this is because that's going to expose Ho Sung Yoon to. I mean, it, it's going to expose Ho Sung Yoon to Premier League scouts. <laughs> They're going to find him really easily because he's going to be playing regularly in the championship. And there is a lot of money in the Premier League. There's a lot of money in the Prem. So, I, I, you know, maybe maybe not the worst thing in the world. If one of them happens to, uh, one of them just happens to notice that there's a pretty good young Korean center back bopping around. And then they uh, hop in, they spend a bag on him. And I'm like, yo, that's sick nasty, my home slice. Uh, Schumacher uh, preferred position. Okay. Mulatieri was satisfied that we played him in advance forward, so now we can play Mulatieri anywhere we want, but I can't imagine where that would be. All right, this is a very rare bout of fixture congestion because we had a match suspended because of a snowy pitch. Oh, we're down to, oh, we've played two less matches than the teams that are ahead of us. Okay. It's like, we're down to 10th. We were in seventh. PSG just won seven to three. No matter. We just put our head down, turn up, try and get a result. Mets on the 21st of January. Don't we have another transfer out that we're waiting on? No, they all, they both went through. Okay. So we made some real nice money as a club. Nearly $31 million in our transfer budget, under our payroll budget. We have agreed to improve our youth recruitment and our junior coaching. I'm really loving... Like, I'm really loving working with this board. I'm loving it. This board's been so kind to me, dude. They've been so kind. Liked your Fiji video today? My grandpa is legit the U.S. ambassador to Fiji. That's really cool. If I was going to be the U.S. ambassador to a country, Fiji would definitely be in my top third. That would be a really awesome experience. I think some of those islands in the Pacific are just a little too isolated for me, but Fiji's got like a million people. You know, like that would be that would be that would be fun. There's enough civilization going on. You know. West Ham's interested in Andreas Shelder up. Well, you're gonna have to show up with like 50 freaking million. Looking to generate funds. They they know. They know how much they're going to have to show up with. Ah, uh, Liam Scales, whose contract runs out at the end of the year. Why? Dude, there's no way my assistant coach has him at one and a half stars. That is absurd. He's so much better than that. Whatever. I'm offended on his behalf. How's your budget so high and your balance is so low? Because we're not playing FIFA. Because I have 100% revenue retention. Why am I so in love with him? Because he's not that bad. And he's willing to play zero matches all year and stay on the team and, like, be happy and just hang out. Jean Martins. Jean Martins. Freaking baller. Needs to... Only on a 6.95 this year with two assists in 17 matches. We need a little more final third product from Jean Martins. He's pretty meh. Yeah, but he's definitely not one and a half stars. I'm not saying Liam Scales is great. I'm just saying he's not one and a half stars. I would have him at two to two and a half. There's no way they're putting him all the way down there. But they think he's good for the third division of uh, France, which is hilarious. Right, I'm playing an actual team. Okay, we need to... Uh re boost our um our setup here we need well we need to realign everything because we were just playing french cup matches against like the local ymca so we need to get set up here uh ramsey's back he's playing right back very happy to have him back from injury schumacher's getting his first start the amazing wonder kid we just acquired he's got incredible explosiveness the dane Jan Schumacher and his $10 million release clause that we hopped all over. Um, Amugu and Indala are hurt. Didn't know Indala's still out for two days. Freaking long time. Okay. Rual and Mika Fey are a long time pairing there. Uh, Kovacevic is back in goal. 
that's our starting 11. And then we have Mokowena, who's not cleared. So military is going to be the sub-striker. Warren Bondo is going to start. We're going to have Pedro Bravo in here. Luis Torres in here. And we do need a wing sub. Uh, Scales is off the bench. So we have Simic. Uh, yeah, and then that is Lala Mila Bad Boy. Who's going to be the wing sub because Indala is hurt and we canceled the loan for Moreno. So, this is the first league appearance for Nicholas Arnu, who we signed end of contract and then for $725,000 from Solskjaer. It is also the debut overall of Jan Schumacher at Stryker. And we have sold Sadu Toure and Stefan Lekovic for almost $20 million. We're making freaking deals, baby. Did he get to adopt the Mocha Winna Macarena chat? Uh, yeah, no. I need to learn it. I'm unfamiliar with its game. All right, we'll go back to positive. Did I make any other changes for playing those cup matches? No. Okay, what are they doing? 4 4 2 with an aggressive left back in Jaden Candelaria. Hello, Mets. We're here to ruin your day. Sorry, there's no 11 available. Would you like 65? It's every freaking number on my entire team is taken. Uh, Nicholas, Arnu, now, you know what, Schumacher? You're getting 15. You, you don't. Arnu gets nine. You get 15. It's going to be all confusing, and I don't care. Jack Trancer, thank you for the four minds. Why does the chicken coop have two doors? Because if it had four, it would be a chicken sedan. Ah, uh, Casey McLean. Yes, save that. Got it. So that they so it's to the tempo of the Macarena. That's perfect. Running at the goal is Cabello Macarena. Asking for the ball is Cabello Macarena. Scoring the goal is Cabello Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Hey. Love that. That's a banger. As for the dad joke, C plus, but it got the right amount of cringe out of me. I appreciated that. As for the chant, sensational. Cabello Macawena's had a brilliant season. He is uh, out with injury today, but him and Jan Schumacher are going to carry us to great things, I believe. Come on, dude. I am like, what did I tell? Who is the one guy I told you to watch out for? The one guy that was going to make a run that we weren't going to be able to handle. It's that guy. We just let him walk into the first 28 seconds and they get a great chance. Ridiculous. Positively ridiculous, chat. Is there a way to catch up in the save? Yes. The entire save is on the live YouTube channel, Zealand Live. Oh, he's off. That's a red. Thank you, Chardonnay. You're my least favorite white wine. Get off the field. Come on, boys. Must be freezing. It's January. That was a... That guy... That was not a blue card, chat. That is a red card. That is an unnecessary amount of violence out there. Oh, Arnu. That is a, an absurd challenge to just sail into five minutes into the match. All right, so we are going to make some changes. Right? We don't want to mess around. We don't want to waste any time. Let them grow into a, a settled defense. Surely not from shelter up. I think that might have been on target. That was absurd. Uh, we're going to raise the middle line here. And we're gonna have Branko Vandenbaum going crazy as well. We're gonna have we're gonna have Montiel getting further up the side too. We're just gonna have him complete wing backing it up. Basically a back three with Calvin Ramsey sticking a little deeper behind our new as the winger, but we'll uh we'll turn up the heat. Uh yes, shelter up. Dude, go take a touch to your right foot and have a shot, will you? I mean, come on. Blue cards for flopping. Um, 
No, they're they're apparently going to be introducing blue cards as an extra, like they're in between yellow and red cards, basically. All right, that might be a pen. I mean, a red card in a fairly cheap pen would be a pretty nasty way to kick things off, but. Uh, Branko's been huge for us on pens, so even though Shelderup's also very good at them, we'll stay with Branko. Is there a Zealand quote board somewhere? There used to be. There's like a D, like if you do exclamation point quote, people used to like add random things I would say to that. But I don't think people have got have done it in a while. Vanden Parman has scored again for Saint Etienne. Branko Vandenboomen. How would blue cards work in FM? I mean, the same way they'd work in real life. You'd have a player leave the field for 10 minutes. It'd be complex, right? You'd have to make a tactical change for 10 minutes. They have to shift back. I'm sure football manager would, SI would be annoyed if that got instituted fully, but. Oh, Bondo's all alone. Bondo's all alone. Warren Bondo, and it's 2-0. Oh, what a great way to start the stream. They just didn't have enough men to market Warren Bondo with a classy volley. He is that dude. The name's Bondo. Warren Bondo. Another one? Warren Bondo again? Nice. Get that to Martins. It is Bondo. It's all Warren He's going with a layback. Ramsey slips it into Shelter up. Oh, that's Schumacher. Oh, it's the young lad, Jan Schumacher, the 18 year old that St. Etienne just purchased for 10 million. And he's got his first goal in his first match, Jan Schumacher, the wonder kid. <laughs> Schumacher. Vamos Ferrari. Yes, exactly. Jan Schumacher. Woo. Montiel. Mika Fey. 4 0. Absolutely racing Mets off the field. All right. Uh, we are going to do that. We're going to bring him back. Why am I doing this? Go ahead, ask me. Sealand, what are you doing? Why would you be going back after you just took a 4-0 lead? Well, we have a match in three days, and I would love to not wear these guys out as much. If I didn't have a match in three days, we'd stay up. We have a match in three days, though. So we are not going to stay after it. We have a 4 0 lead. They're down a man. I feel comfortable that we can bring the ball back, knock it around the park, and be very in control here. I'm incredibly happy with the way that first half went, though. That works, y'all. I've heard far worse. I appreciate the honesty. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy your ad free experience. And thank you for doing it with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. All right, one more for the road. Shelter up. Looking. Ramsey might as well have it. Ooh, hit that ball pretty well. All righty, Luis Torres coming in for Bondo. That's such a dumb joke. <laughs> That's such a dumb joke. I love it. That's a B, dude. I'm going to go with a B on that. Uh, Mikkel Brinsis for Calvin Ramsey and Maxime Rodier for Andreas Shelderup. Maybe. Yeah. Trust you guys to make a difference. A five-man substitution at the 60th minute. Yay! Let's go. I would have loved to have gotten Montiel or Arnoux. Looks like Jan Schumacher has great natural fitness. I mean, the dude's 19. That makes sense. 
You restart this song, I forgot to clap at the start. Oh, uh, totally, hold on. Uh -huh. All right, you guys ready? You have to, you, uh, you, if you miss it, I'm not going back again, okay? You gotta be ready. Be ready. Did you get it? Okay. So oh, let's go! Jan Schumacher! No. Nailed it. Cheers, boss. You're welcome. I, I wanted to give you one more shot at it. Garly, thank you for the 13 months. We I missed it. How about Jan Schumacher, though? Torres with a back heel. I mean, look at that, dude. These kids are 20 and 18. Torres with a little cheeky doop. Schumacher, yo. Caught that keeper by surprise by cranking that first time. Two goals on the debut at home for Jan Schumacher. That'll get him going. Zentavius, thank you for the 16 months. Yeah, it is. I mean, they don't because they make it hard to steal Jeff Bezos' money. But Centavius, I've appreciated your 16 months of dedication. I'm glad you finished Taunton. What did you think? What did you think after you finished Taunton, dude? Thanks for supporting the stream, my dude, also. But you, I, oh, that was a great save. Had a lot of fun with Taunton. Can we see Schumacher's touches to goals ratio after the game? Yeah, that's true. I haven't really seen him touch the ball outside of his two goals. Hey, that's, uh, he's getting foxy in the boxy, you know? Except he scored from outside the box. How unchicharito of him. Oh, Rodier is in. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, that was a sensational goal to go 6-0. Maxime Rodier with one for the road. General Jaw, they give you the eight months. They, well... Well, A minus. That one caught me off guard. General Jai did. Lanax, thank you for the five months. I'm afraid for the calendar, its days are numbered. Thanks. Enjoy your ad free with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money, you know. Well, I mean, you always got to have something to aim for, you know. You always got to have something to aim for. Ton's legendary. I'll always remember Ricaro. I'll always love Ricaro. That one goal. But Tether, you'll get it eventually. Thank you for the nine months. Thanks for supporting the stream. Enjoy the ad-free experience. Currently manage U.S. in the 2030 World Cup facing Nigeria in the round of 16. Come on, lads! <laughs> Gary's really excited. Uh, what was the name of the DJ guy at Taunton? Uh, DJ Campton Sturridge. It's a real player. He was, he was not like a new gen or anything. His name was DJ Campton Sturridge. He was part of the uh, RSS feed line with Marcus Sheldon and Jimmy Roach. Jimmy James Roach. James Jimmy Roach. That was like National League and League Two. AJ Fridge, my beloved. Ah, yes. Old AJ Fridge, the original fringe player. Oh, it's like, dude, we play Lille. We're playing in Europe. I just haven't, I'm not used to playing big teams. I've only been managing for six years. Of love. The Malachi Reeve. Yeah, man, that man had like 20 appearances over a 13-year career with the club. Uh, respond to Kahn's offer. Um, they're down with that. Hyo, Hyo Sang-yoon. He'll make a decision between Kahn or going to play at Bristol City. Whatever he thinks would be better. 
I will side with him. Maxim Rodier to start rounding the keeper. Did you see his finish in the last match, though? I mean, I get it, but, like, did you see his finish in the last match? It's pretty hot. It's a pretty hot finish. They want to give Pedro Bravo a dribbling trait. I'm going to hate that. Pedro Bravo is the most logical player to exclude in order to comply. I disagree with that. Lorenzo Sage should be recalled from loan. He can contribute to the first. He will contribute to the first team next year. Mamadou Zane doesn't want to be on the team, which is why we loaned him out. But I appreciate you suggesting we recall him and restart those giant locker room issues. What are your issues with training? You got here a week ago. How do you have an issue with training? He doesn't. Why? Like what? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? Like the Jennifer Lawrence clip. Hey. Whatever happened to have monsters and men? Just to jam out to their first album. Speaking of Gary Neville, did you guys see what he was saying about the Italian teams like 20 years ago? Yeah, Lorenzo Sage is looking great. Yes, he's Zimbabwe Wonder Boy for sure. Is that yes, and he is right, I believe him. I believe him too, honestly. I know some people were clowning on him for just saying that, oh, they're in they were in better shape than you or whatever. I believe I mean, that was an era where in US sports it was super prevalent too. I think everybody was just discovering that you could do that and there weren't really the rules or protections in place to stop it. So I wouldn't be surprised at all. That was that is the exact era that that sort of stuff was happening. If you didn't see it, apparently Gary Neville's just talking with like Roy Keane and some other dudes. And they're talking about like, yeah, we play a match against Italy or not against Italy, but against like a ten and it, and, and certain Italian clubs and the match would end and I'd be absolutely, you know, knackered or whatever. And the, but in there, you saw like, we didn't go out, we didn't drink, like we were fit, but at the end of the match, we would be completely done and they would look like they hadn't even played a match yet. And he, he said that specifically there was one match he played that he remembers walking off the field next to them and they def they looked like they hadn't even started the match yet. And he was going, something's wrong. He was thinking he 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 said he was thinking at the time in that moment that he noticed and he was like something's off. There's no way they're that fresh right now. Yeah, I completely believe him. They said it's carbo loading, mate. All that pasta. True, dude. Didn't think about that at all. It's just all that pasta, man. It's good for your endurance. Eat all that stuff the night before. You're ready to run for days. Oh, well, I, I'm glad we solved that. I was worried. No, I, I think it was very prevalent. I, th I, I think it was incredibly prevalent and there's never quite been a reckoning about it the same way that there was in a lot of u.s sports particularly in baseball there was a massive reckoning there was literally a trial in the u.s congress because of how prevalent it was nfl was banning people all over the place hockey's banned people obviously fifa's banned people as well but like uefa but there hasn't been like a reckoning where you went back through the history and you went you know gary neville's comment might kick it off a little bit but Sid, thank you for the 28 months. All the fans have left. Dude, that, that's, that's a B minus. That is brutally cringe, and I love it. Scott, thank you for the 33. One third of a century. Oh, months. I Scott, I actually don't get that. One third of a century is, what, 33.3 years? I'd... Isn't Pep a drug cheat? I think somebody was saying Pep did get caught one time on some stuff. They, see, they'll never talk about it. Like, they'll never bring it up. There's, like, a code of silence, obviously. But sounds like all of you, like, I'm, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff in the chat. Like, oh, Ancelotti took these guys to a private island to get shots or whatever. Like, there's a ton of stories like that, and all those people are still involved in the game. But it's, at the same time, 
I'm going to hit you with an uncomfortable truth. How many rules were there against it that were actually enforced at the time? And these guys are doing everything that they're trying to do to win. That was the reason it was the Wild West in the early 2000s is because, like, people were still learning what it was and how to enforce the rules and everything. So, wait, hold on. We're, are there any bad teams left? Because we played Gwyngom in the round of 16, so I guess we, would, we haven't really gotten this yet. We would play Lille. Because we're not, it, it's not going to be Sas Epinal. That would be sick if it was. But our Coupe de France quarterfinal would be Lil. Roman, thank you for the eight months, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream, Clo. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, Clo, for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos money. Enjoy the ad-free moves. You can just remove journalists that ask uncomfortable questions from press conferences. Uh, yes. I think a big difference that I have observed between U.S. sports and international football and soccer I didn't know that either. That's kind of wild. I guess they, uh, there's more Disney kids out there than you realize. There's more there's more Disney kids out there than you would uh you'd want to admit, you know. Wow, we really rested up super well. Okay. Uh Mocha Wena's ready, so we're gonna have him on the bench instead of Mulatieri. Uh Indala is still not cleared, uh, not ready for a fitness test. Louise Me Cruz failed his fitness test. So both those guys are still unavailable, which is crazy. Um All right, but well we have our uh, we've got our team ready to rock and roll after a resounding win just a few days ago. We've got that team ready to go again against Darukan Tokuz and the mighty Angers. This is the match that was rescheduled because of a snowstorm, and we are now playing it. So thank the heavens. Pick up where you left off last time out. There's a pretty good spot to pick up. Jazz, thank you for the four months. Thank you for the prime. Wiscord, just thank you for uh, the seven months. Juve went to court for it. What, for the uh, for doping? Cycling got it worse for the drugs. Now, I think baseball was really the worst. Sorry, back to the original thing I was talking about, which is a big difference I've observed between U.S. sports and, like, international football is in U.S. sports, the players and coaches just have to talk a lot more. They just do. They have to talk a lot more about all sorts of stuff. And in international football and like in, in, in soccer, right, it's you can kind of dodge things you don't want to talk about. Where in the U.S. it is impossible to dodge things you don't want to talk about. Like, I don't know if we're just talking about the standard. of What a goal by Warren Bonda. Are you kidding me? He made that look so easy. Yeah, like, yeah, like, uh, like, uh, like, okay. After I'm done marveling at this goal, you've got Patrick Mahomes, whose dad was arrested, arrested for driving under the influence, and he's the quarterback of the Chiefs. What a goal! Oh my goodness! Yo. Wait. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody just said, "Are you telling me LeBron is a natural?" It's just a really weird way to word that, Billy Bestie. But yes, th those dudes get drug tested to the moon. And like, to the moon. Now, would I swear to the sanctity of the Tour de France or something like that? No. But the NBA, those guys get drug tested to the moon. Yeah, the only thing the NBA doesn't care about is weed. If they did, then nobody would be playing, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, the U.S. sports is obsessed with drug testing people. Now, there's always a way to cheat the system. I'm aware of that. 
But to do it for 21 years, I would be gobsmacked if LeBron was doing stuff. Gobsmacked. And I don't use that word lightly. I'd be gobsmacked. I'd be really surprised. To get away with it for 21 years uh, with the amount of testing that goes on. You know, the, 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 they're uh, in the U.S. just absolutely obsessive about it. But I just, I just feel like in international football and soccer, players just aren't forced to talk about stuff they don't want to talk about nearly as much. Like, how is that not a foul? Like, Patrick Mahomes shows up at the Super Bowl. His dad gets a DUI, and, like, the first question is the guy goes, what are your thoughts on your dad getting arrested? <laughs> That's just the first question. Like, I, I, there are great journalists all over the world, and journalism is a difficult profession, right? A lot of people that have a lot of opinions about it. But I do feel like the standard of journalism around football is not quite investigative enough in a lot of places. It's not as critical as it should be. And then you have England where it's too critical. Definitely. <laughs> but I, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about England. I'm not talking about England. Super Finster, thank you for the 13 months. <laughs> All right, I'm pleased we've created loads and the scoreboard reflects that. Yup. I mean, elite, almost all footballers are terrible people. I disagree with that, but what I would say is that, you know, if you, if you look at footballers, uh, you look at players, like, on a normal spectrum, Dude, how did Ramsey get or Vandenbaum and get cooked that hard? That was really, really bad defense. I. Uh, that's all on Vandenbaum and letting this guy down the wing. We haven't given them anything. Look at this. He just—he's not even doing anything. What are you? What? What are you doing? And now we're all out of sorts. Defense is trying to shift over and isn't able to shift over fast. That's super annoying goal to give up. Their second shot of the freaking game, dude. We may still be on key highlights. Oh, yeah, we are. Wow. I didn't even notice that. Good call. So this is a key highlight. Hopefully it's uh, a banger for us. Get in, son! Oh, Martins to Bondo. <laughs> it is a goal. It's Warren Bondo with his second. And we're back in front. We were literally still on key highlights from the cup match as well. We went through a whole match without noticing because we scored so much. Nice shout. Nice shout. Big Slothino, thank you for the eight months, by the way. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. And uh, Super Fenster, still no child support. It's in the mail, I promise. Thank you for the two months, Duracell. Can I send an image link? I made a meme for you. Yeah, dude, post it. I'll open it on another screen to make sure it's not something awful, but yeah. All right, let's take a look. Everybody's exhausted, should have guessed. We're gonna go with a five-man sub. Guess who's in, baby? A little mellow bad boy. Yeehaw! Hell yeah, brother. Huge match for old Warren Bondo. Let's get that ball out of there. Thank you. Mika Faye, you can just run with this. He can just run with this, or he want you know, you can get it to a guy whose job is to just run with the ball. That works too. Rodier. Still Rodier. All the way Rodier. Are you the producer for the TiVo football podcast? Uh no, I am not. I love those guys though. I've done a video with them before, but I am not the producer for their podcast. 
If I do I follow F1 at all? I very little, but I do follow it. Like I follow it the smallest amount that you can follow it while kind of knowing what's going on. So I know about Lewis Hamilton. I've seen some tweets about carbon fiber. How do we not block that shot? Good save, but seriously. Is Ruddy A developing nicely? Yeah, he's still growing. He's just uh well, you know, he's he's a classic archetype. Oh my god. No. Ow, that hurt a lot. Okay, all of a sudden it's 2-2. What an absolutely brutal uh, goal to give up there. Hmm. Let's have you be a missile. Wow, that sucks. They have two goals from absolutely nothing in this game. What I mean, what a banger, though. Dude just cooked an unbelievable shot. Come on, boys. This is our moment. 2-2, two, two, 10 minutes to go win the game. This is bad boys moment. We all know it. Come on. That's the highlight. Are you choking? Why you gotta why why you gotta even give me the hope there? And we save that. How do they not score this? I mean, my goodness, this is just so bad. Tired of this Bang Kittleson dude. Very tired of this Bang Kittleson dude. He's got their goal. Should have just set up the winning goal for them. If I were them, I'd be at, I'd be throwing like I'd be throwing stuff across the room if I were them. I don't know what Lee's Torres just did there, but apparently it was yellow card worthy. Orendor, thank you for the tier three. Hello? The tier three for 32 months. Oh my God. Morindor, thank you so much. A tier three? All right, now we win it. Now that they, they bottled the biggest chance of all time, we got destroyed on that play. Oh, uh, that's our ball. Nice. Good proactive defending. Martins should have just slipped Rodier through, but okay. Montiel, a lot of work to do. That ain't it at all. How are we all of a sudden terrible, guys? That's one player. It's one player there's no way we're getting cooked with two center backs and one oh my they should have how have they not won the game it's amazing that they have not won the game and now we're gonna win it just because of that just because it's football manager and that's that that that's what makes sense in this world he was off wasn't he no he wasn't <laughs> told you i freaking told you I, fr I know how this game works. I know how this freaking game works. And now we win it. I know how this game works, dude. I know how this game freaking works. I mean, come on. It was written in the freaking stars, man. It was written in the stars. They had two unbelievable chances. They missed them. We're going to win it. It's Capella Mokawena. Holy cheddar. 
Meow. Love that. Hell yeah. I don't even need to look. I know that's Automatrix, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the 52 months. You're awesome. All the love. Thank you for supporting the stream for so long. You are one of the one of the hammers. Loved the meow in there. Jobin, thank you for the 11 months. My son's also named Bork. Is that child abuse? No, because Bork is a sick name. Rock on. McCarthy Mooney, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Oh, I forgot to sing my hey, Mokoena. Hi. Yeah, proceed with the tactical change. Six minutes of uh, stoppage time. We're bringing the boys back. Well, that was not the prettiest three points if we can clear this ball out. Nice. Get there. Get there. Yo, do not. Okay, that's fine. And the whistle blows. What a shame. What a shame. It was a good win for us. Now the image that Duracell just sent said, I think I'm an NPC in the Zealand universe. Z managing Saint yet Saint at the end makes an offer for Miguel Mara. Instantly. This happens in my game. Saint at the end, make my <laughs> make, make Miguel Maga offer. How'd you get into my game, dude? What are you doing? Darth tap. Thank you for oh, gifted oh, five oh, freaking oh, subs. Oh, Tomsky, I'm glad you love the video. Tap, thank you for making five people's days, giving them the ad-free experience and the bacon and support in the stream. Same to you, McCarthy Mooney. Ten fat gifted subs right off the drop after a big win. All right, guys. We want him to go fly and be free, chat. We want him to go fly and be free and develop into the player we know he can be. And him wasting away, playing a few matches a season for us in league is not going to do it. Agreed playing time, important player. This is what we need. It's a great move for your development. I feel more game time is important for my development. You go get that game time, Lelamella. He just turned 20. It's time for him to be on the field. It's time for him to be playing. Wow, we actually have legit fixture congestion in legal. Very rare. Very rare situation here. Thanks to uh, Coupe de France round of 16 against Quingam, we are going to continue our fixture congestion. Thank you guys for saying thank you for the gifted subs. Look after. Yeah, if Neem's Olympic, don't play him. I will burn Olympic Neem's to the ground. Oh, Otto. So you added the meow because of uh, your 15-year-old Tomcat that passed away last month. Dude, I'm really sorry to hear that. Losing a pet always sucks. Rest in peace to Otto Matrix's cat. He was here for all of the streams. will be remembered fondly. So Tomcat, all right. UEFA Nations League draw. Apparently, it's popping off. All right, so Nations League Group A. <laughs> Israel's in Group A. What? 
I didn't realize they got up from B. But they got Italy, Belgium, and France. Gee, I wonder who's going down. You have Croatia, Portugal, Poland, Scotland. That's a fun group. Netherlands, Hungary, Germany, Bosnia, and Herzegovina. Fun group. You know, Bosnia and Herzegovina has never been to the Euros. But this is, like, not the first time they've been in Nations League A either. Very weird. Uh, Spain, Denmark, Switzerland, Serbia. Fair. Fair play. What on earth is this for Israel? That is... That is a savage group. That is a savage group. Uh, group. Man, you could not pay me to watch one of those draws, though. Like, what? Are you, what is even happening? Is this the draw? Oh, my dude. Really? Play some highlights and pick the teams. You know what I mean? Play some highlights and pick the friggin' teams. All right, let's, let's go. I don't need eight musical numbers. This isn't the Super Bowl. Let's just let's just get after it. Court strike make loan approach for Hyo Sung Hyun. Uh, it's not a great loan approach. They uh, you know, I don't like the fact that they didn't give him much to go on there. So. Like they came in at fringe player, so even though they, they agreed to regular starter, I think they're just lying. That's the honest truth. I think they're just lying to me. <sighs> Austria to win the Euros. When are the Euros playoffs? That's something I don't know. Are those in, like, March? Because the Euro qualifying playoffs are, are set. Like, I know they're drawn. Yeah, it's in March. Okay. Electric. So you have Israel, Iceland, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Ukraine. Path C, Georgia, Luxembourg, Greece, Kazakhstan. Give me Georgia. Georgia and Bosnia have never been. I mean, John Daly's a legend. How could you hate on that? John Daly's hilarious. Kazakhstan's also never made it true. Worth a, worth a shout. You guys haven't realized why this is so crazy yet. It's right above my head. This result's way crazier than chat's given it credit for. And the reason is directly above my head. This is Claremont Foote's first win of the season. They were bottom with four points after 18 matches, and they won in Paris against PSG. Utter absurdity taking place out there today. Utter absurdity. Jim the Greek, thank you for the 10 months. Let's go, Greece. Oh, yeah, that's going to read it to me. Hold on. There you go. Thank you for the 10. Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. And thanks for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money to get that ad-free life. You can dodge those Twitch ads. <sighs> Holiday. Apply to the PSG job after the manager gets sacked. That would feel so mean, just axe murdering teams. But I'd take the job. I mean, our goal is to go to the top. Our goal is to get to the very top. And if PSG knocked on my door, I would answer with a Oh you? I had no idea. The score against Angers, we won three to two with a ninetieth minute goal. Little near run for me. Uh, two weeks with a virus, yikes. Well, you can complete the loan once the virus is gone. Everybody, everybody cool with that? 
skyline on the... Hopefully we have enough fit guys to play this Leo match. And then we have at home against the second division team. Oh, Marseille just lost. There is chaos in this league right now. Nobody can separate. Top team in the league has only won 13 of 19 matches, which not great. PSG's won 11 of their 20 matches they've played, which is crazy. A lot of chaos, and we're in seventh as a result of it. <laughs> we have slotted up to seventh place as a result of all of this chaos. Big, uh, big old six pointer. If we could win this, we'd maybe jump into some Europa League spots. Start to. Of course, I play Nice after this. <laughs> the the end of this like this ridiculous run of congestion, and I say ridiculous because it you know we haven't. Bro, his contract expires in 18 months. The <laughs> time flies tough. Real tough. Yeah, all right. Um, hi, Shelly. Well, you know, I'm going to explore my options when my contract expires. Okay. Um, well, you're interested in sending your time. Just very surprised that this is coming up now. I want you to stay. Um, do we have a good relationship? I don't know. Believes the excellent support for the head coach is deserved. Favorite personnel, me. I am one of the favorite personnel. We're ambitious and we want to achieve great things, so we need you to be a part of that. I also think that's true. I mean, he probably wants to leave. Like, dude, let me promise you Europe. If we don't get Europe, you can leave. I'll try that. We're ambitious and we want to achieve great things. Oh, I don't even need to make a promise. Shoot, we're all good. All right. <laughs> we want to achieve great things. Give us time to achieve great things, Shelly. Give us time. Also, I'm scared and sign a new contract. Please, please don't be like uh, anti-new contract. Okay, cool. They want to str He wants to strengthen the right backs? What do you mean? What do you mean? Match highest earner, yearly salary raise. We're going to remove both of those, Elizabeth, but don't end it right now. Okay. Relegation release clause 40 million. Elizabeth. Thank you. Goodness gracious, Elizabeth. All right. Andre Gomez, Matisse Mugo, and Branko Vandenbaum are the only other guys whose contracts run out in 18 months. Yeah. Shelderup is still an utter key. He's a, he's a key player to this team. So I am not ready to uh, live in a world where we have to sell him this summer. If you're wondering what just happened or why it just happened. Okay, uh, Bravo coming in for Jean Martins. Vanden Bowman moves up. Uh, everybody else is fit somehow for this match. I mean, I'm I'm down for it. Louise Me Cruz steps onto the bench to fill the bad boy-sized hole there. He's now cleared for 45 minutes, so we're cool with that. Am I going to start aggressive? We have not played particularly well against a 4-4-2 with this tactic. Especially when it looks like their aggressive side is for Chi-Chi on, uh, on the right side of their team. Jacksoner, thank you for the two years. Congrats on your diamond bacon. Murph, thank you for the 27 months also. Three children. That's gulp a lot. Jerfy, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Enjoy your lack of ads.
Uh, uh, why do you always make it non-negotiable when it's orange? Uh, does that have any effect? Yeah, I think so. I think it, they're, you know, I'm giving them a non-negotiable offer. And I might as well do that because they're going to, you know, either accept or reject it either way. Um, so they're in fifth. They've got a match in hand on the team in front of them, which would be our rivals, Lyon. Jules Kudimbamna. Okay. Oh, Lucas Sasadi. I know him. Crescencio Somerville. There be pace, laddie. All right, we might be changing our tactic at some point here. Go out there and enjoy yourselves today. Yeah, man. Do that away against Leal. That's what I'm talking about. Gabriel, thank you for the eight months, brother. Ashman Zini, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. <laughs> yeah, you only, you only get the brown card when you have to go to the bathroom. So we've got the blue card gives you a 10-minute, like, timeout. Red card just sends you off. You go brown card if you just really need to go to the bathroom. Too thick. Thank you for the tier one. Enjoy the bacon of the emotes. Thanks for supporting the stream, dude. You and Ashman Zini, you're new, you're new to the squaw. Get in the subsection of the Discord. The squaw. Cross it. What are we doing? Name the brown card after the yeah, the honorary Eric Dyer card. Oh, I, I like how uh, uh, the bottling up that we're doing in this corner, except we didn't do it well enough. Yeah, I'm gonna make the change now. I'm making the change now. We have got to be prepared for their speed. They're playing with a lot of speed. Shift! Omaha, Taylor Swift! Omaha, Taylor Swift! Change the formation. This is the all. We got to manage this pretty tight because this team's better than us. He was offside, which good discipline on the back line there. Frustrate the team and look to hit him on the counter. That is our goal. Oh, my goodness. It's Schumacher. I don't know how, but it's Jan Schumacher! Oh! And it's 1-0 St. Etienne in a flash! It's the 18-year-old Dane, Jan Schumacher! What a miss! And the first man to it's the teenager. This kid's, uh, he's pretty good. This kid's pretty freaking good. He is vroom vrooming his way all over Ligon right now. Oh, give me that. Cookies. Left wing. Montiel. Go to work on him. Dude, you just got dispossessed by a striker. You were a joke. Okay. Mikkel Brensis. Slip him. Arnoux. Oh, look at Arnoux. Oh, look at Arnoux. The new signings are coming up big. It's our new at the Matt Turner angle near post. Two nil at Leal. What moments of individual quality from our new players. And we've jumped ahead of Leal in the table. Our new signing is off to quite a good start. You know what I'm saying? 
<clears throat> nice block. Had some time wasting in there. What moments of individual brilliance. Bring me the tablet. I got to watch it back. So it's Somerville in for Chi Chi, and then Somerville goes one, two off of Saudi, and just, man. What on earth is a blue card? It's a 10 minute Senbin timeout. They're implementing it. Like, they're going to start match testing it and stuff. We had a spirited discussion about it earlier today. Oh! It's like between a yellow and a red, basically. Oh, let's go. Schumacher. Bondo? Well, they already tried a little. I don't know, but it, Telegraph is reporting that it's like it's a thing. They're preparing to implement it. Have they said what? No. The only thing they're reporting is that it's set to be implemented and that it is a blue card in a ten-minute timeout, basically. In terms of exactly how it'll be enforced, how it's going to be written into the rule book, there's like no real details for that. Man, Montiel is short. Isn't it just IFAB saying it's a thing that leagues can do, not something they have to do? I don't know. I'm just, this is the tweet Telegraph released. Blue cards to be introduced. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I know, dude. Hey, we're up 2-0 at halftime at Lille. I'm very happy with what I've seen from the team today. So to be clear to you guys, I'm very happy with what you, you, you have done. On the field, you've been fantastic. Can we just implement hockey fights? Yes, I'm so down. Fabrizio already posted. Of course he did. Oh, Fabrizio! Who's going to win the Nations League? Okay. Blackburn Rovers. Uh, appeal to get Duncan McGuire. Deal cleared has been rejected. Deal definitely off. Saga's over. I heard that was weird, but I didn't know what it was about. Uh, man, this guy tweets a lot. Holy hell, he tweets so much. I gave up. I gave up. Whoa, have it! Oh, I think that hit the outside of the post. What a chaotic... Uh, play that was. All right, there we go. Good pocket. Didn't use it. Montiel, great overlap. We've got our new, who is tall. Oh, it hit the freaking post. How did Bravo not score? Again. Why is it always Pedro Bravo? Dude, it's not even supposed to be up there. 
All right, Martins, you're in. Uh, we're going to have to go double sub. Rodier on the left wing. Luis Me Cruz on the right. And Montiel's been freaking scaring me, so we're going to bring in Jacques Ecomier. He's got a little more size, a little more overall defensive skill. Should be able to help. This is potentially a perilous 2-0 advantage. That's troubling that we gave him that header for free. Feels like the Blackburn fans lying, uh, back Blackburn owners lying to their fans like we tried our best. I've heard their owners are terrible. I've received word that their owners are uh, not very good. So that, that does sound like something that would check out. Although it seems like most of the owners in the championship are hated in some way. Fifth, do I see Europe next season? Why did you have to say that, dude? Why did you have to say that? Look what you've done. Now it's 2-1 because a guy just scored his first goal of the season on a set piece. We've done such a good job battling on the road against Lille. Unbelievable, uh, unbelievable collapse there for us. I, I, I don't know what I don't. I don't know how this is that open. This is not a particularly complex play here. Um, we just get beat by them switching the field quickly. He commits. Mika Fay just commits the wrong play, and he's just in. He's just in on goal. I mean, they they switch the field pretty quick, but not that quickly. This is pretty bad. I mean, we've got Bravo, who is our anchor man, that's decided it's a good time to go over there. This is a uh, really, really shocking defense. We lost a defensive midfielder completely. God dang it, man. Yeah, I already rewatched it four times. They're blaming Mika Fay for that, saying he committed to the wrong, uh, the wrong guy, which he did. But our midfield was not near where they needed to be. Martins just he just subbed in, was not even mildly aware of the run that he was supposed to be tracking. You'd feel it. You could feel it coming. You could feel it coming. It's one of the if football manager does do a good job of capturing that kind of um like that feeling where you feel like you're slipping down a hill. You know, and that, that happens in real life matches too. You feel like you're just sliding down a hill and it's like covered in soap and there's like no way back up the hill, you know. You could feel that coming from a mile away, dude. Well, we let that one get away. Yeah, clearly players just got rattled. Uh, just very rattled mentally. But we made the tactical change to go out. Oh, my. Like, can't coach that out of the team, you know. We, we, we are not in the right spot mentally right now. And we're letting that um, letting that slip. Maybe a, maybe a shout would have been in order earlier. Oh, that's good for Mikkel Brensis there. That's a really good play. All right, come on now. Oh, hello, Rodier. Hello, Maxime Rodier. We got runners. Oh, they let it go. Mikkel Brensis is here. He's going back in. It's Rodier. Yeah, it's not Rodier. Oh, you got to win that header. 
You gotta win that header, my brother. Well, we got, oh, oh, Kovacevic. Oh! Dude, that was really well hit from Maxime Rodier. He goes for the overhead kick, forces the save out of Olchowski. Still alive. It's still alive. It's got it. Guys, the ball is in play. All right, well, this could be a counter. They've only got one guy up. We just need to not lose the header super convincingly like that, and we'll be totally fine. All right, well, that is a brutal way to go down. Just didn't have the constitution in the team. Uh, probably needed to make more dramatic changes after it went 2 2. How do you tell your goalkeeper to go forward, be on very attacking, and be losing late in the match? And they'll just go forward naturally. That was a brutal six point swing there for us to try and climb into better European places. Not like we have an easy stretch after that easier uh, either. We've got Gwingam, which we'll try and rotate for a little bit. Oh, Bravo and Mika Fey are both suspended. Well, they were the two guys that lost us that match. They were the two guys that just played terribly right down the stretch. So, honestly, we could do without him for a game. Elliot, thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Enjoy the ad-free experience. <laughs> Hell yeah. Are we buying someone? Uh, we've already bought a couple guys. I feel like we've had a tremendous transfer window. We've made some really, really nice sales. Uh, Lekovic for $11 million. Seydou Toure for $8.5 million. Um, I don't see us doing any other business on deadline day. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot, but you never know, you know. Yo, Spendy. Oh, yeah, he just transferred. I don't know why I'm looking at him with the starry eyes. All right, we have five guys. Ilaix Moraba, which is a no. Owen Otisowi. Shout out, America and all that. Non you know, America and all that jazz. Issa Jupp. That's a real fun center back, but he's also valued at 17 million, so we're not biting. Yeah, it's a cup match. Gwyn Gom, they're in uh, the second division. What? Mulatieri, brother. Come on, man. You played in 12 matches. You're expected playing time's impact sub. I fail to understand what the issue is. Now my technical director started the conversation negative. I hired you, bro. I have not been given the playing time I was promised. Do you want me to sell you? Okay, cool. We will sell Samuele Molettieri on deadline day and loan in a third string striker. How does that sound? I will cash in on a guy we signed for free in the summer because we didn't expect to sign two Wonder Kid strikers that ended up being ahead of him. And even though he's on impact sub now, he's apparently still upset. So get in the bin. Get in the frickin' bin. Oh, this is an offer for our Fowey. Yeah, this is a 20-year-old who we don't really like, but we don't want to let go for nothing. Can't even start a negotiation. That was way higher than I offered him out for last time, too. Free him? Give him a blue card? Hell yeah, dude. I'm giving him a blue card. That's what I'm doing. 
Loki, thank you for the 21 months, by the way. So we're crowdfunding the Hammers League LAN. I think it would be really cool if the channel ever gets like, you know, obviously we're taking over the world one football manager save at a time. But if we're able to do like some sort of tour or like in the UK or something where we just like play LAN saves, or that would be really fun. That's a fun idea. I have no idea how that would work, but. What number would I accept for Shelly? 40. Somebody showed up with 40 million, I'd take it. We have Maxime Rodier. We could survive in the short term uh, if we're not able to sign like another elite kind of left wing guy. But there's another guy that plays left wing that I liked. I just have to go through my short lists a little bit. We'd be able to find him. I mean, Odo Bear, for one, played the same position, but he's now moved. What will happen if someone gets a blue card in the last five minutes and they miss the rest of the match? I would imagine they would miss the rest of the match. Yeah, sorry, there's a logistic thing happening. Later today, I wanted to, to make sure it was okay. All right, I'm not getting any offers for old Samuel A. Muletieri, which, uh, how dare the world. Dude, they're not playing Okachuku at all. Freaking play him. All right. One guy we got to move, Samuele Mulatieri. We're also in the market for a third string striker. Looking uh, maybe maybe a loan interest. So we have two kind of wonder kid guys. We just need somebody that can step in and play a few matches. If we are devoid of striker, need a little rotation. I don't like having just two strikers on my entire team. Yeah, okay, so the, I, I haven't set it to striker yet, which is kind of an important part of the whole equation, I would think. That's the exact same group of players. So can we... Okay. Oh, it's already on. Okay. I just had it unchecked. I was very confused as to what the hell was happening. I had it unchecked. All right. Um, Angel Boy... Oh, Boisson is available for loan. That freaking... Yeah, but he, he's not interested. Not actually. Uh, Man, they'd want a lot of fees. See, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in kind of the older guys. Like this guy, Nikola Kurstovich, but they probably want a serious fee. So we're going to go ahead and add loan list. I don't want to spend my time looking through this too weirdly. Listed for loan as a striker. So we're not talking about fees or anything. Alan Abondo. Dang it, he's foreign. Actually perfect, though, but he's foreign. Urban Skirbech, what do you want? Full wage and a bit of a fee and important player. Yeah, I think that's actually going to be a little bit out of the price range for us. Valentin Binko, very good, are you? What about old Sonny Finch? You're definitely foreign. Arturo Garrido is foreign. All right, fine. I will look at Boisson. No, I already looked at Boisson, and they're just telling me all this nonsense. Benedetti. Also foreign. This is absurd! How many strikers down here? My soul, Mechi. Kind of sucks, but 
He might be all we got. Oh, boy. Sign Boisen Philander. Brother, you have no idea how bad I wish a Boisen Philander is just walking through that door. We kind of, we have Cabela Mocoena, though. We're closer than most to a Boisen Philander. Could just lie to them. Zealand discovers deception. Um, option, you wanted me to play him as a poacher? Who on earth wants that? Except for you, apparently. You want that. This kid's good. This kid's way better than two and a half. Uh, oh, come on. Come on, dude. It's deadline. I'm going to continue once to make sure that they're, like, aware that it's deadline day. All righty, kids. Make an offer for Samuel A. Mulatieri. Please and thank you. Would strengthen the squad? Yes. I'm willing to make an offer while the transfer window is closed. Pretty sure your window is open, dude. Lehav, this is your moment. Put the money down on the table. Burlap sack. Thanks for supporting the stream, dude, with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Enjoy your ad free experience. Optional future fee. Uh, no. Mandatory future fee of 2.1 million. Not doing it for me. No way that was the response to it. Yeah. Invite Cadiz to propose the deal for 4.8 million. Hey, we just got a top flight offer right there. Astoriel Praia with an optional future fee with installments, important player fee. No, okay. Come on. Give me a reasonable offer that's not just that. Give me a reasonable offer. I believe in you. It's friggin' deadline day. Oh, yeah, we have a match today. That's going to make this a little more awkward, so we need to... Can't drag our feet. We need to move. Everybody use contracts just up. Do <laughs> Oh, I had interesting loan ticked. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Always something. felt broken so i'm gonna go back in and do this thank you i knew there were some people around antonio quesada come on the cuban from the miami academy he's actually decent too should i sign this guy and put him on my reserve team 
I should. I should sign this guy and put him on my reserve team. Thank you so much for asking. Just a random good signing. All right, that wasn't the point. That's not why we showed up here. Stefan Friertag, perfect. Stefan Friertag is perfect. He's not under a contract. He's got 20 determination. He'll play his butt off and he can score. We want him to be a fringe player. We will play him as an advanced for dude. Friertag. I need you to take at least that, man. I need you to take at least that, or else we're not going to be able to make this work. I will a three-year contract is tough. I'll lock that at two years. I'm going to give you a rele relegation release clause of zero dollars, though, Stefan. So I think we'll be able to make that work. Uh, you'll join right now. We don't want to lock into a long deal. All right, look, l listen, Lucas, you're getting ridiculous. Six thousand compensation. We get a real decent player who can put an you can put an easy ball in the net. He's a decent athlete, uh, and he works his tail off. We like that. From Blauweiss Lanes. Nice. Now, if we can just sell Mulatieri for like six million, we're gonna end up with a very good trade on deadline day. Oh, good. It's a good snag. It's a good snatch game for us. Eleven work rates working his tail off. The twenty determination is. Let me give you an example. Bad boy had super high determination and average work rate. And that that guy the willingness to go after it is all there. Oh, Moraba is on the move. He went to Köln. His weird career continues. Oh, this is the guy that just scored against me. He's not even good. How do we... Come on. Really? We got beat by that guy? Uh, I've had preliminary discussions about where we might be able to send Militieri. We're working on it. We've got a deal in place. Come um, on, somebody go on in for Militieri. This is your moment. There's the transfer offer. No, it's not. But we did sign Antonio Quesada, which was not the point, but also fun. 19-year-old Cuban striker who clearly is worth more than the $0 we will be paying to acquire him. And we can just slap him into the reserve team. I think that's fine. I mean, I already signed him, so it better be, but. Uh, registration. Doesn't look like they have any rules. Players under 16 are not allowed to play. Totally fair. But I'm not seeing any other rules. There's the transfer window, registration rules. So it's all loan-based stuff. Yeah, I think he can play. We'll just put him in the reserve team. That's a solid signing. All right. Yeah, they put him right in uh, St. Etienne Dua. Yeah. Antonio Quesada of Cuba. Perfect. Miga Fey, welcome him. He'll be around the training ground. He won't really know what's going on, but. And we got our other striker, Stefan Feiertag. Of Blauweiss Linz joining us for a total fee of 94000 to get the deal done. So our scouting network's all over it. We have the replacement for Militieri. We haven't sold Militieri yet. Unsure what he's able to offer? I'll tell you what he's able to offer. A third striker that we don't hate, which is very nice, very, uh, very important. Opportunity arises to add to the squad and improve our chances. We will take it. We just signed Stefan Firetog, and we signed a young Cuban striker as well. Oh, locked offer out. That's what I did. But I can't offer him out again, which is why I don't really know what's going to happen. I feel like we're going to get a transfer offer at some point, but I don't know. Uh, maybe we should explore uh, the intermediary. I don't like any of those offers. 
But expected offers in three hours and 30 minutes if we use Mikael Vizorek. Okay, we'll use, we'll, we'll use Mikael Vizorek. He's only taking 2%, and he expects 3.3 to 4.4 million. That's our last option if we want to move in before deadline day. We could also loan him and then because he's got uh, time and we don't need the money immediately. He's got till 2032 in his deal. We could loan him into the summer, get him off the team so he's not upset, and then work in the transfer over the course of a whole summer window instead of a day and a half. Yeah, we, uh, we have the money. Uh, just see if something takes our interest, you know. Offers for Militieri. Okay. Burnley's talking about six mil. I'm intrigued. Give me five up front. That's a pretty reasonable counter offer. We almost got what we wanted. I wanted six, but for a day and a half, dude, I will take that. For a day and a half, I'm all over that. Uh, Leo Song Hoon looking at Porto Monench, Khan, Bristol City. I'm going to be honest. Pick a place to play. You got to go somewhere. That's profit, dude. We signed him for free in the summer. And in January, we're popping him over to Burnley for $5 million. They could probably afford six. Yeah, but I didn't really have the time to mess around with that. You know? I if I would have definitely tried to get more if we were um if we had longer, but I'd rather take a good deal instead of negotiate for a great deal at this point. We also have a match that we're about to play on deadline day that we'll come out of with like two minutes left. Okay. Militieri's negotiating his deal. Simic is gonna come in and play next to Ual. Our guys are still uh, pretty fit. I'm going to want to rotate a little bit. I'm going to get Mokowena, Cabello Mokowena in. I'm going to get Rodier in. I'm going to get Luis Cruz in. I'm going to get Luis Torres in. I am going to rock with... Dang it, Amugu's hurt. This would be a great opportunity, Amugu. Fitness test not required. What was it? What was the injury? I pulled a calf. Oh. That's a bit sketchy. It's a bit dodgy, mate. Uh, Mikkel Brensis, Echo Mier. A mostly backup team should be able to handle this, theoretically. In theory, should be all over this and be able to get the job done. I'll go Simic and Scales because I believe in Scales. And I'm going to get Gomez in there. Round of 16 in the French Cup. We want to get to the quarterfinal. It'd be, I believe, a rematch with Lille if we got there. But Michael Brensis, Simic, Scales, Zekomier, Vanden Bowman, Martins, Luis Cruz, Luis Torres, Maxime Rodier, Capello Mokowena. Cool beans. The beans be cool against Gwyngom from the second division. Stay frosty out there, Chad. Don't sleep on the second division teams, especially when we've rotated our team as aggressively as we just did. Remind the guys going out there that I have faith in them. Even though they're not the starters, I have faith in them to get us to the cup quarterfinal. Hold a calf. Holy cow. Death Opus, thank you for the three months. Thank you for supporting the stream and enjoy your ad free experience, courtesy of $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Torgiano, thank you for the 11 months as well. Looking forward to that gold bacon next month, dude. Any other big signings behind Jan Schumacher? Yes, our new, our uh, other right winger. Luis Me Cruz also joined on a free, but he's more of a backup, kind of a well rounded wing. <sighs> Let's deliver the goods. Let's deliver the goods. Surviving this ridiculous bout of fixture congestion, they've decided to foist upon us at the back end of January. 
Absurd, the idea of fixture congestion in France. Ready eight. Ah. Mako, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Thanks for supporting the stream with $5 of Jeffy B's money. I thought that was in. Ah. Yeah, we made four new guys join the team. Louise Me Cruz, uh, Stefan Feiertag, uh, Jan Schumacher, and Arno. He was off for sure. What am I open to managing St. Etienne next season? Uh, yeah, I would. Especially if we can get into those European places, I would be very open to it. Oh, Brian, thank you for the tier two. I, I, I actually, I'd heard that one fairly recently, so I'm not going to rate it, but it is a very good dad joke. It is a very good dad joke. Rodier, Martins, Torres, Cabello Mokowena. Oh, Vanden Bowman, it's opening up nicely for Branco. Like the way we've started this. Why is uh, this yellow? Uh, a literal dad joke. <laughs> exactly. Come on, scales. Look at the wing. Oh, Luis Me Cruz. Dang it. Michael Brinsis. Brinko Vanden Bauman. Uh, just joined the stream. Have we played the U.S. Nations League yet? No, that's in March. Nice. Louise B. Cruz breaks the seal in his second appearance. And it's 1-0 St. Etienne with Louise B. Cruz running the show. Golazzo Crucero. Bubbles. It all means nothing, but the noises sound great. Oh, that took a huge deflection. Okay. Nice. MQX, thank you for the three months, dude. Thanks for the prime. We've spent a ton of Jeff Bezos money today. He definitely just got a notification on his phone like, what is going on? It's usually like, dude sees an ad. I'm like, oh, my prime must have expired. stand Jeff no more pesos I love that imagine Jeff Bezos gets a notification every time somebody uses a prime his bank is like do you really want to give away five more dollars I've often wondered what it would be like. Like, if I was Billie Eilish, this is random, right? But it's along the same line. And you post a picture on Instagram, right? And you're Billie Eilish, who, like, broke the record for most like picture in 10 minutes or whatever. And you just leave all of your notifications on. Does your phone just explode? Like, on that note, is that Jaden to die? Totally separate thought. Does your phone just, like, explode if you just actually leave all the... I mean, it's like 5 million likes in 3 minutes or whatever. Is it just, you know, does the app shut down? Oh, those suck. Quick trip, Jesus. I'm glad it's over. Thank you for the $5 dono. Congrats on making it through the oral surgery. You know, if you want to be a real hockey player, you have to knock out your fake tooth and do it again. But that doesn't sound like a real good time. But thank you for the $5. And Tips King, thank you for the 16 months. Got Rexham into the championship. Premier League, here we come. Dude, that is, you're on the way. 
you are good friends. You're basically in all you're you're already in. Oh my my brain just shut down. Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney are their names. It's always sunny in Philadelphia is the show. Couldn't think of any of those three things. Don't know why. I was gonna say, oh yeah, you're in you're basically in and it's always sunny in Philadelphia already. And my brain was like, you want to know the name of that show? Absolutely not. Don't worry, I'll still remember what every flag in the world looks like, but you can't remember the most tenured sitcom of all time. Branko. Louise me. We actually haven't been dominant in this game. We're just winning. The worst shot of all time from Mikkel Brinsis there. We love to see it. But we're taking care of business. Even though we're not dominating, we're winning. Uh, things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Feels like a fair thing to say. We're not really handing them a lot. We're just not doing a lot our side either. And we've got a few cards, which is not good. Uh, Boomer here. What did Billie Eilish do to get famous? Uh, music. She's a musician. Came up with this kind of new sound. Um, she's got some good songs. When the Party's Over is probably one of my favorite songs ever made, actually. Most of them are just, like, pretty good, but that one's amazing. Um, yeah, and she blew, went really famous, like, two, three years ago. And her personality and stuff kind of be turned her into like a cultural icon i think that is why she broke the record for most like picture in 10 minutes or whatever on instagram this is more the cult of personality Alrighty. considering perhaps a substitution in the midfield a little uh matisse amugu and warren bondo action Bondo can do it. We just need to get a break out there for Vanden Bauman and these lads. Actually, I'm going to get not Bondo. I'm going to go with uh, Nikola Simic and Rual. Rual will be a little less tired at the end of the day if that's the job he's doing. Okay, guys, we're just surviving this match, getting to the quarterfinal of the cup and getting through this fixture congestion. We cool with that? Yep. William Eyelash, exactly. <laughs> Luis me Cruz. Dang it. Amugu has a tight calf. He's not cripplingly injured. He should be. He passed his fitness test. Should be able to give us 30 minutes without going to the hospital. Obviously not entirely sure on that, but we didn't want to attempt it. I love Bondo. That's why we want him to be fit and sharp for our match coming up in a couple days. Oh, nice pass. A little the A, and that should do it. It's 2 0. Maxime Rodier. Please and thank you. Billie Eilish is 22. Yo. First time I heard a Billie Eilish song, she was 14. So that's wild. My cousin was like, you'll listen to this and played Ocean Eyes in the car. It was like Billie Eilish's first song. So I knew her before she was cool. Yeah, that was eight years ago, man. That was a long time ago. I don't know. My, my cousin found it on SoundCloud. I have no idea how. Just put it on in the car. I was like, oh, this song's good. And then, of course, the next thing she said was, she's 14. Can you believe that? I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? All right. We're going to see this out by bringing in a couple of very responsible, talented defensive players and bringing in Nicholas Arnu, who's got pace on the right wing to help carry the ball forward and end this match. Please and thank you. As we are up 2-0, brother. And we just need a couple of minutes from those guys to make sure we win it. Her brother Phineas is great. I honestly, I think her brother's like 51% of the whole thing. 
Our news, smash it. Hell yeah. Goal! Nicholas on there. We are chefing it up in the round of 16 of the French Cup against second tier, Gwyn Gump. Nicholas Arnu shelfing it. And we are going to the quarterfinal. I don't know who will be playing, but it probably will finally be a team from the top tier, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, she's very open that her brother's a huge part of her, the success. Just the way they've set it up, she's the one that got famous off it. She doesn't, like, try to hide from the fact that her brother's super important to it. Oh, yeah, I go down Wikipedia rabbit holes on all sorts of musical artists. I know a bunch of random information. Our news is turning out to be quite a signing. He, he's, I mean, shoot, we got him for, what, 725K? We signed him for free and then did a whole, well, what would it cost to buy him now if he's leaving at the end of the year? sort of thing so Marseille beat Laval and we got an offer for Mika Faye well that's interesting Sparta Prague uh, sorry uh, intermediary we got a better offer outside of what you were able to find us which is kind of hilarious I have three hours. So the, the value of this deal is nearly 16 million with 3.2 of that being after league appearances. We need to, I mean, you're trying to steal a guy right on deadline. Okay, cool. He wasn't going to get upset if we negotiated our way out of it. I wanted a really serious deal if they were going to steal him on deadline day. Because we were going to have to scramble like mad to fill that spot in our defense. Yeah, having that match on deadline day was weird. We, we only lost two hours. I, got, I went right back into my office. We were playing at home. Uh, military granted work permit. Dude, this is an amazing deal. This is an amazing deal. Will, thank you. That's an amazing deal. Thank you for the Prime. The free ad, free subscription. Thanks for supporting the stream. Profit, we signed him for free this last summer, dude. Signed him for free, and now in January, we're moving him for $5 million, sending him off to Burnley. So, uh, Militieri, have fun, dude. Have a great time. We're making great profits. The stonks are crazy. How many matches did he play? Because he, he, I, Molitieri scored a good number of goals, I thought, earlier in the season. We just didn't expect to be able to sign Jan Schumacher. Yeah, but he played three goals in 12 matches in the early part of the year. He also scored two goals in two cup matches. He was not bad at all for us. All right, he decided to go to Montpellier. That is awesome. He is going to be a starting player in the top league of France. Yo Sung Yoon. Signed over for half a million from South Korea. Immediately steps into a starting role. Uh, Lille won. They beat Epinal. So we're playing Lille in the quarters. Sources claim he rejected a bid for Khalid Arfawi. I'm not going to get drawn into specifics, Irwin. Are there any bad teams left? Yeah, No. One match just hasn't been played yet. Every other team is in the top flight. So as long as Strasbourg doesn't bottle it, we're down to only top flight teams. Such is the such is the way. Hundred thousand for no one Gallo, sure. Let the guy go have a career. Yeah, I, under, I understand their, uh, the supporters' disappointment. We're upset Militieri's on the move. We sold some guy from our reserve team who's not great for 100000 
Hope he has a good time. That was a very quick transfer deal for Noah and Gallo right there at the end. Okay. Now that the window is closed, chat, we have our squad. We made the, you know, we got Schumacher. We got old Louise Me Cruz. I like Louise Me Cruz. Got him for free from Mitchelland. We sold Lekovic for 11, Sadu Toure for 8.5, and Samuele Militieri for 5. It is your time to predict where we're going to finish in the league this year. We are in eighth with 14 matches in the league left to play. We are also in the Coupe de France quarterfinal. We've survived a weird bout of fixture congestion that is very unusual around these parts. And we have more of it on the way. But where do you guys think we're going to finish in the league? I have to go pee. I'll be right back. Stretch, get some water. Where are we finishing? So what do you guys say? Sixth, seventh, eighth, fifth. Nobody is thinking top four. Okay. Nobody sees us as a top four team. What is that? Absurd, man. My roaming playmaker just got a hat trick. Nice. I really I haven't had a save where we used. Like a ro we I haven't had a save where we used a roaming playmaker in a while. In a while, I haven't had a save where we used a roaming playmaker. All right, defending engaged. A match review on the back end of that will be good. Man, I'm just playing decent teams all over the place. I guess that's the way it worked, though. Uber Greedy, thank you for the prime, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. Maverick, thank you. Congrats on the year. It's the best thing I could do, you know? It's the best thing I could do for you. Convert you from FIFA. So the only guy we can't register for the league is, of course, the Cuban that we have down in the, in the second division. So, or in our reserve team, Antonio Quesada. There's no room for that 9 EU player, but everybody else at the entire club can be put on the league registration list. You never know when you're going to need somebody. We've got the room. We might as well. Job done. Res uh, you know, registration submitted. Quesada to be unveiled. Well, he's not registered for the league, but he is. He definitely has his best work ahead of him. He's been thoroughly scouted. I believe he can make an impact. I'm going to develop him. We know what he does well. We're here to give him a warm welcome. He's coming. I mean, he's coming from Miami. I mean, this is not too far. Galazzo, thank you for the prime. Again, spending a ton of Jeff Bezos' money. You got a new four-year, $21 million contract for Andreas Shelderup. 
after he was making some noise like, you know, you might want to leave. But I am... What's that say? I don't really see what that word says. Let's say friggin' untouchable. I friggin' thought so. Yeah, we were scared initially with the way things were going for Shelly, but... Now he's recommitted to the club, wants to grow with the club. I like that. Unfreaking touchable. Oh, baby. Did you just see that score? I skipped it because I didn't, uh, didn't know what I was looking at. But the third division team just pulled the upset. There is a third division team in the Coupe de France quarterfinal. What the hell was that? 2 0. Chablis over Strasbourg. Two goals in a minute for my boy, Lenny Stoltz. Hell yeah. And they kind of deserved it, too. Strasbourg looked really bad. How come I couldn't draw them? Now freaking Nantes. Nantes is playing against Chambly in the quarterfinal. And we're all, all the rest of us are playing real teams. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean. Thought the registration window was already closed. I guess it's closed again. Yes, she's already out of the cup. Yes, I believe we have a chance to win the cup. There is no overwhelmingly better team than us in the cup. We've played nothing but non-first league teams up to the quarterfinal, which is obviously a freaking dream. We finally get a week break after this match against Nice, which will be great, but we did rotate for the cup match, so we will be able to roll full first team against Nice. But we haven't had fixture congestion. You really never have it in France if you're not in Europe. And so I'm a little, fr you know, a little frustrated that we're here uh, dealing with this nonsense. <laughs> Lenny Stoltz is a low-level hitman in an Italian mob in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. World Cup final going to be run by Lenny Stoltz and company. Just day after, yeah. Well, day after, I can just go ahead and do that. I'm trying to do a Pentagon challenge, but I have no idea what leagues to load or if I have to use league packs. Any help or advice is much appreciated. Uh, so for Pentagon, I don't think Wellington Phoenix plays in the... Let me, let me look. The Oceania Champions League. So I think if you, well, I guess if you're doing Pentagon, you don't need that. You don't need any league packs. The only African league that is in the game is South Africa. So you're going to have to win the African Champions League from South Africa. But if you're going Pentagon, you're just going for the five. That's still fun save, huge achievement if you pull it off, right? Um, but... You don't need any league packs. You just have to know that you're win you have to win Africa out of South Africa. That's the only African uh, league in, in the game. So get comfy in South Africa, my man. Okay. Oh, goalkeeper. Kovacevic, Ramsey, Ruel, Mikafe, Montiel, Martins, Bravo, Bondo. This is all wrong. Um, there we go. Uh, Arnu, Shelter up, Schumacher, bench is set. Okay, we are playing our very composed defensive style against uh, what is sure to be a very good opponent in Nice, but we have developed our style for playing against these teams, and it works. For the most part, unless we bottle it in the last 10 minutes like we did last time to lose three to two. So let's get it. Against the number one team in the league. I feel like we play the number one team in the league every other week. We are playing the number one team in the league again.
So did it tell you. Alright, Bondo. You freaking what are you? Kalma, it's the first move. <laughs> oh, PSG Fallen, so oh, I hate that spot. Fallen, uh, they can't, you know, they don't have a lot of losses. They just have a weirdly high number of draws. That's usually the downfall of teams like that. Everybody has a plan to play against PSG specifically. It can be hard to score sometimes. All right, Martins. You're supposed to be a freaky superstar. I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna wanna see that that playmaking ability from Joao Martins. He's gonna find that one ball that's gonna open this whole thing up for us. Is League on out of Farmers League in this save? It's usually a bit less of a Farmers League in football manager. Then I would say it is in real life, at least right now, this season. Through the legs, bro. Bruv. Sound goalkeeping from Kovacevic. What Spotify playlist am I listening to? The best one, obviously. Uh, we clearing that, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, take me out, radio. I made a radio station off of Franz Ferdinand's Take Me Out. All right, good work, Montiel. We're keeping this competitive, but we are not creating those one or two chances that we need. But we're not giving them anything. I think, it's, I think our plan should be to keep not giving them anything, and that chance will come. We've got the speed. We break well. Um, I'm happy with our performance so far. You know, we kept them out of the back of the net. We need a little bit more from our new and shelter up. Those guys can really make things happen individually. <laughs> come on, boys. We're in a decent spot now. Let's keep it going. Yo, that was the best chance they've created right through the middle, which is not normally how we get folded. So let me watch Bravo here. So they've got their front four, Mitrovic, Reinders, Baris Alper, and Diop. And then they've got the extra man. They've got Jashari as well. They're going double Metsala. Holy. And the Rocket, Alexander Mitrovic with a double Metsala and Reinders and Jashari. That's crazy. All right. I uh, I know how they broke us down now. We need to be deeper. Be ready for that run. Need to follow that guy. Follow that man. Hey, Bondo, I need you to be a little more responsible. All right. Because their midfield runs are where they're trying to create some nonsense. I'm really glad that wasn't a penalty. Um... All right, wingbacks have got to go crazy. Wingbacks have got to go crazy. We're going to get them on the wings. Oh, yes! Sh oh! oh, what a goal by Jan Schumacher! Don't you dare say that was off. Oh, what an individual effort by Schumacher. He just bent his run at the wrong point. Dude, duh. Okay, good save. All right, we're in the game. We're doing what, you know, we're doing what we'd want to do. We're limiting their opportunities. 
All right, now let's uh, let's explore some potential subs. We've got the Speed Demon subs, which would be Rodier and Jordandala, and their whole goal would be to pick the ball up and run at the opposition, which is something they're both very good at. Uh, we also have Cabela Mokowena, who's going to come in, and he's going to do exactly the same thing, uh, which he's he's good at. He's quite good at. Uh, Branko Vandenbaum is going to come in for Joao Martins, who's a little rattled. He's got a yellow card and only a 6.6 .6 as a playmaker. We love Joao Martins, but I think in this moment, we need Branko Vandenbaum. All right, I'm not making any changes. We're limiting Nice. They're top of the league this season. We're very much limiting them. We're playing very tough. And now we make that one play that wins us the match right here. Oh, Cabela Mokowena. Yo, that's ours. Indala with a uh, through ball for them, apparently. Oh, great play by Calvin Ramsey. Good. Oh, he's bombing it. All right, so that's ours. Mokowena. Oh, Mokowena. Oh, Mokowena. I thought he was just going to keep running. Rodier cooks the defender. Let's go! Freaking go, dude. Maxime Rodier does it again. What a freaking player. Joel Indala gets the goal. A tap in. What a turn by Rodier. Great work by Moko Wena to set it up. And Joel Indala is there. And we're doing it to the number one team in the league again. We're learning how to play with a team that's less talented. It's a different skill set, but we're, we're, we're figuring it out this year. Oh, Bondo. Oh, my. The run. Look at the run. Joel Indala. How, how? Oh, Rodier. Oh, man. Indala's faster than anybody else in the field. Oh. All right. Some good uh, low-key time wasting by Maxime Rodier. Trollin Dollar doesn't even try. Oh my goodness, it's Cabela Mokowena. It's Cabela Mokowena. Hard to get mad at him. He literally created the chance for himself. Yeah, the subs were nice. Uh, let's make some more. Uh, okay, we only have one sub spot left. I'm going to bring in Jacques Ecomier. And I'm going to move Calvin Ramsey back as well. I have faith in you, Jacques. Handle your business. Wonder where the pass is going. <laughs> oh, and it's Mokowina again. Oh, and he couldn't outrun him. He couldn't get the ball out in front of him. That's all right. Take it all the way to the corner. Bring it back. It's there. It's so that it was there. That pass was bad. Bondo. Bravo. This is fine. Vanden Bowman. Rodier. That's stupid. But now, 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 we throw that up there. Right? Now we, uh, we throw that up there. Bring that line back. Bring that back. Okay. Now we're taking years, boys. Now we are taking an eon. It's already taken us 30 seconds. Take even longer. Ready, thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Thank you for the nine months. Congrats on your Twitch child. Big responsibility. I hope you're ready.
We took nearly a minute to take that corner. That I'm proud of our guys. Jacques, you're scaring me. It's all right. If we're going to make a mistake, make it up the field. What the hell was that? He cleared it off of Mika Faye's face, and it could have gone anywhere. Keepers up. Why back to him? Head it up the freaking field, bro. Just blow the whistle. Bravo is, this is why I like Bravo. He's everywhere. He has eaten up these last two plays, even if he didn't do it in the most intelligent way. Rodier, oh, you beautiful man. Maxime Rodier hoofs it clear. And St. Etienne have beaten the top team in the league. Nice in a massive win. Three points at the end of a long run of fixture congestion against the best team in the league. A big win. <sighs> Some would say a nice win. That wouldn't be me. Hello, chat. You get that. And we are back into seventh. Jostling around all those European places. PSG just drew again, man. They are, we are only three points off PSG right now because we have the same number of matches played. Most teams have matches in hand. We've got Montpellier in eight days. We'll be playing against our South Korean kid that we loaned them. Oh, baby. What is happening at PSG? I don't know. All I know is that that job might be open soon. And if I get a phone call from PSG, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. You know, if I get a phone call, probably couldn't get that job. Let's be honest. Uh, fixed training. True. Thank you. Would have been a bear to try and get all that plugged in later. Montpellier, finally a week off again. And a draw for the Coupe de France semi-final on the 7th. How exciting. We'll see where we land in the league after the next match day. Just happy, you know, I'm just real happy to be in this European conversation. That is a big three points that we would be looking at our schedule like, ah, I don't know if we're going to get those three points, you know. Louise Me Cruz leads the way for saint etienne Dua. Oh, Andy strained his groin in the process. Great work, dude. Nantes drew. Uh, PSG has been bumped down to fifth. They're five points off the league. I helped them out with that. Lyon's actually now in second with a win over Lens and a six-pointer. And Lille won, so they're still sitting in the top four as well. Things are getting wild. It is a tight league race in France, and you know we're only eight points off the top of the league, so a crazy run from us to end the season could get us in the conversation for an unbelievable league title. But right now we're focused on one match at a time. Get a win in the next match. And if we do that enough times, we'll be, we'll be real good. We'll be real. Okay. Joe on crazy name on Montpellier. Yeah. That dude was on our short list for like two years in this save. Nathan Joe on. Don't lie. You're jealous. You wish your name was Joa on. Pow Prim. It's just Barcelona just... How? how? <laughs> There's so many good players coming out of Barcelona. If I was Manchester City, I would just attempt to buy Barcelona's entire youth setup down to the, like, the nuts and bolts in the buildings. 
and be like, you know, not like Man City's youth setup is bad, but if I had all the money in the world, like if I was Newcastle, that's what I'd try to do. Because even in financial disarray, that club just dumps out good players. Stevie, thank you for the two months, brother. Thanks for supporting the stream. Just watch your clock speak video. So good, dude. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, it's subs like that that allow us to make videos like the clock speak video. All right, who do I want? Don't really know. This is pretty even. I'll take Nantes Chambly if I have the choice. Well, I didn't get them, so I got Marseille and... Marseille are Stade Rene for the semifinal. Fine. Whatever. I'll do it the hard way. Every dirty Premier League team tries to buy our entire youth take every year and they fail. I'm just saying there's clearly, and I don't even know if Barcelona knows exactly what it is because they're not able to run their club particularly well, but they're able to run the youth setup super well, right? So I don't know if they're, they know exactly what it is either, but there's clearly some special sauce at Barcelona. Like there's just this kind of special combination of coaches a particular regime or program or schedule for what players do and when and what they develop and when that just produces more quality players. Would I do a youth only save at Barcelona? Yeah, it'd probably be fun. Is seventh Europe in France? Uh, it is, but only if the winner of the Coupe de France is in the top seven. So, uh, it's Europa Conference League playoff. But, of course, if the winner of the Coupe de France is not in the top seven, which is still a very solid possibility, then that means there's six European spots and the Coupe de France winner. What do we consider as youth? What age is good for the save? No, I mean, you, so youth only challenge is you only use players that come in through your youth intake. So it's not like, oh, I'm signing young players and that's the youth only challenge. It's I'm only using players that have come through the youth intake of my club. So you cannot sign anybody on a transfer is basically the point. There be no signing, laddie. Is it a really fun youth-only challenge to watch on YouTube? No, I've never done it because they usually take longer, uh, and I'm usually so in the weeds when it comes to squad. But you know, honestly, the truth is, one of my favorite parts of Football Manager, like one of my great joys in the game, is squad building. So not being able to tran like not being able to negotiate transfers, would bother me. Like I, I, I wouldn't. Um, it would deprive me of one of the things I enjoy most in Football Manager, which is building the squad. They want to get my coat on the ceiling. The yak is a slog to go through. I know that that stands for youth only challenge, but it also stands for yards after catch in NFL parlance in American football. So yards after catch is a slog, you know, you're getting hit. Everybody's trying to stop you. It's ridiculous. Truly absurd. Wow. Leal have played three matches since we played our last match. They had a Sunday, then midweek, then a Saturday. Crazy bit of fixture congestion, but they have popped up top of the league also. So they're not complaining. Now that they've caught up with everybody. Hugo, thank you for the 18 months. Thanks for supporting the stream, my brother. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Leon turns in a big draw. And now we've got a match in hand. With a win, we would jump into sixth place out of Monaco. Always fun. So Yak is yards after contact, and it's also yards after the catch. So 
it's multiple things. And I never really realized that it stood for multiple things until just now. Oh, sweet. We've got Cup and then PSG. I know I noticed that earlier, but I forgot about it and just noticed it again. They want me to go cautious. I'm actually feeling the exact opposite. So let's let's go with the exact opposite then. No Bravo. I'm feeling Martins, Bondo, Arnu, Shelderup, Montiel, Ramsey, Rual, Fay, Kovacevic, Schumacher. Um, bench set up the same way it was before, except Mikkel Brensis is in because we don't have a completely sharp Louise Me Cruz, which we're working on. Got to make sure you keep your Louise Me Cruises sharp. If they're dull, they just won't do anything. Oh, they've got the Jordanian guy, Musa Al Tamari. He's like the hero of Jordan's run to the Asian Cup final. He's like their only player in a major European league. I hope he sucks today, but I hope he wins the Euro or the Asian Cup or whatever it is. Go out there and enjoy yourselves today. I'm not applying any pressure on this at all. Away against Montpellier. Easy to look forward. We've got Lille in the cup. We've got PSG in the league after that. Very easy to get caught looking forward. Get the three points in the bag today. But what is a yard derived from? Uh, so it's approximately like you. your guess was close. It's about three and a half claws of a bald eagle is how you measure a yard. But it has to be a fully grown bald eagle, obviously. Pretty standard US measurement overall. Oh, it, this is painted knack, dude. We really did. That was one of my most dominant seasons of all time. 93 points to win the league. Next closest was 67. That's absurd. Look away. Did we beat Nice? Uh, yes. <laughs> we actually did. Oh, Martins, that's a bad header. Blue cards? Yeah. It's a card between yellow and red that IFAB's working on introducing. How good is Roy Krishman in FM? I've actually never looked. I did. He's been in FIFA for like a decade. Ever since he joined Wellington Phoenix, he's been in FIFA. Or like EAFC. And he was always just the one Fijian guy. You're like, what the hell is this guy doing here? At Fortinio, thank you for the 21 months as part of the Hammers. Thank you for supporting the stream. That goal is for you. Anthony Ruol. Finn, thank you for gifting Mads and a sub also. Thanks for giving him the ad-free experience out of the kindness of your heart. Nice header by Anthony Rual. Oh, again? Somebody, somebody, somebody get Anthony Rual on the line. Somebody! Oh. Mika Faye, Anthony Rual, Arnu, Arnu. I was a little nervy. Keeper was not bold in claiming that. Oh, good pace on that pass. Shelder up with his new contract. Montiel, Warren Bondo. Still Warren Bondo. God, he's, so, he's been so good for us this year. He's just cemented that spot as our starting 10. Is the red ball a new addition? Uh, they usually only use it in FM when, like, it's snowy or icy or cold out, which it might just be because it's February, but that's usually when you see the orange ball come out is when it's it helps you see the ball in colder conditions.
Nice. Bondo. Arnu. Yikes. How did that end up being their ball? Come on. This guy, you know, Altamari is going for all the moves here. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Shot, clank. What's my favorite music genre? I don't really have one. Like, really, totally mood dependent. When I'm working, I'm listening to, like, hours long ambient soundtrack compilations. Um, if I'm playing basketball, just like hardcore rap. Like, if I'm running rock. Um, totally dependent on <laughs> what I'm doing. If I'm driving, like, a nice long road trip, it's usually, like, EDM. Maybe, like, a, an EDM set from, you know, one of the big festivals, like, Tomorrowland. You just pull it up on YouTube or something. I'm really, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, whatever you got. As long as it's good, I'm probably there. I would be surprised if it's cold in Montpellier on the Mediterranean Sea. Ah, see, I didn't know Montpellier was down there. So, yeah, probably not. Don't know why we're using an orange ball. Finn, thank you for gifting another wow. sub, dude. This one goes to Largezzo. You're the lucky party. Be sure to say thank you. You got the ad-free experience, the bacon, the emotes, courtesy of Fenton. Thanks for supporting the stream, Fenton. I appreciate it. Do I ever listen to music just to listen to it? I spend a truly incredible amount of time in my day listening to music. I'm very sad that we just gave up a goal right out of halftime once again. I, you think about like every stream, right? Every stream I'm listening to music. I, when I'm working, I listen to music. When I'm running, I listen to music. When I'm walking between places, I'm usually listening to music. I'm always listening to music. So most of the time I'm listening to music just to listen to it. But I'm very mood dependent in terms of what I want to hear. So I wanted to break down like where this was. So you had Lorenzo or Lozano. Lozano makes the run. Then Jabic shows up and we're all. <sighs> so stupid, man. Ill-disciplined, bad line. I, you know, I, I think we can just, we can just constrict the space they want to play in. I'm going to get that change in along with this change. I, I think we can just constrict the space they want to play in with that silly deep line they've got back there. We're going to go further up the field. All right. One, one game on 45 minutes for the points. That's terrible. Mika Faye, there was a 0% chance of that pass coming off unless the dude just whiffed the header. All right, Martins. Landon Bowman. Arno. why are you cutting in? What's the... Oh, wow, Montiel. That is a brilliant play by Montiel, and we're just going to miss. Okay. Really? You're rolling offside? Okay. We're working with that. Schumacher. I thought that had snuck in off the fingertips. He's a very good shooter, Jan Schumacher. He doesn't get involved in the buildup a lot, like Moko Wena, but he is a very good shooter. Oh, it's a point blank save. I know we have Leal in three days. We'll deal with the legs when we get there, but. Yeah, let's go with Rodier. Let's go with Luis Torres. Bondo's not been on it. He's actually complacent, which is concerning. Schumacher's not really been on it outside that one good shot. Hasn't been involved in much. So we're going to encourage these three lads, Torres, Mokowena, and Maxime Rodier, to go make a difference. Give our new a bit more time. We do have Mikkel Brinsis on the bench today, so maybe we'll swap out the right side of our team. All right, 
love the touch from Branko. Nice, Martins. Montiel. Bring it back. You got Martins here. Good pass. Corner. Okay. What season is this? This is our sixth season since we started with no coaching experience or playing experience or coaching badges. We are in our second season at St. Etienne. We got them promoted after their surprise relegation, and now we're battling for European positions. Martins used to be lower. Has to be lower. Has to be a driven ball there. Floated up from the end line, then the keeper's going to be able to read that because it's taken off the same point. Okay. That's our ball. Our new. Oh, there was a through ball in there somewhere. Rodier. Rodier. Oh, it's there! It's always Maxime Rodier. Through the crowd again, finds Luis Torres, who makes the decisive run. The extra run. And Saint Etienne have a hand on the points. All right, Anthony Rouault, as we've learned. Ramsey. Calvin Ramsey. That's our ball. It's got to be our ball. Oh, Martins. Oh, shut up. That would have been so nasty. Martins going first time and Rodier going first time. Just moved the ball into the box so quick. Torres, you cannot. Come on. Can't be losing that, Torres. I'm not quite at the point where I want to slow things down. There's our guy. They're playing him not even at center back. He's playing defensive midfield. So he is registered. He is playing for them against us. How dare they? All right. This is a ridiculously swaggerific passing combination from them. But they will not be able to replicate often, so I feel okay. But that was quite the passing. Oh, Rodier. Again, from the inline, we can't be floating it like that. Nice. Great chest down. Oh, play the wing. Making the run. Rodier. Nice pass. Nice touch. Rodier. Oh, my. He got by his man. Martins. Branco. The extra pass. It's our new. Deflected wide by Zagaridis. <sighs> Fitness check, Michael Brensis for Calvin. Uh, our news going to come out for actually, give me Bravo. I know Bravo should be coming in. We'll get him in there. And Calvin out. Santiago Montiel a bit more responsible. Come on, guys. Mikkel Brensis and Pedro Bravo. That would have been audacious. Oh, I thought the ref was on their team straight up. I thought he just passed it to the. I, I thought he just passed it right to him. Oh, volley it!
Oh, what a play. Dude, what a play by this defender. Bravo actually got it pretty well here. Punched out. Bravo goes first time. Inside foot volley. Pander doesn't get there. It's Ali who sprints back and pops it wide. Bravo, don't blame him for this. Was trying to place that to make sure he hit the target with the first time shot, and he did. Just a tremendous clearance. This match is getting a little wild. I'm staying aggressive because I don't want to let them get forward. General philosophy against five of the back teams, so I want to just keep them contained in their half of the field. Oh, Tort, dude! Dude, what a Loki, thank you for the 21 months. What a freaking save. Thank you for supporting the stream. And Slip Marley, thank you for the tier one as well. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Holy Moses. Um, yeah, we want to counter press, but we want to hold shape and slow down when we win the ball. Whole point is to keep them in their half of the field, but um, still stay aggressive enough that we're able to do that, but also time waste. Didn't word that well at all, but you know what I mean. All right, the all the A. It was a hard fight match, but the three points is important here. No, what a goal that is from Pedro Bravo. He stepped into it and hit an absolute worldie. The goalkeeper is all out at sea. He's not expecting the shot from the defensive midfielder. And he's just blasted it in from 30 plus yards. Not a man known for that type of goal scoring, Pedro Bravo. But he's scored it today to cap off a fine performance for Saint Etienne. I, uh, thank you. That was absurd. Keeper totally wasn't expecting it. And he just unleashed it right towards the bottom corner. Okay, we won. Very happy. Good. Three points on the board. Good win. On the road against a mid-table team in the chaoticness of this league this year. That's big. Stoppage time collapse. Thank you for the 24 months. I'll be honest with you. When somebody asked me, like, what, like, somebody asked me to tell them a joke, like, just in any public setting, that's the joke I tell them. I love that joke so much. That's the joke that I remember over all the other jokes is that one. Turning dominance into victory, brother. And we are in sixth, and we are three points off those Champions League spots. Don't look now. Don't look now. Eyes are always pointed up. We got a big six-pointer against PSG coming up. You know, if we win that, we're tied with them on points. <laughs> and we've got Lille in the cup quarterfinal before then. Seventh is Europe as long as the Coupe de France winners in the top seven of the league. So we don't hate on uh, we don't hate on on seventh either. Seventh is a great spot for us to end the season. If we don't get Europe in seventh, then that sucks. But we can get European play in seventh. Yeah, the league is incredibly chaotic. So we're we're not you know we're not PSG. We're not worried about getting top of the league. We just keep keep our head down. Get the points we feel like we can get, which any points we get against PSG is gravy. You know, that's just extra. Do what we feel like we need to do in order to get those points, which would be hang on for dear life. Use our we're worse than the other team tactic. A personal favorite of mine. And we'll we'll live. Live to see the other side. Survival is important. 
not getting absolutely destroyed and ruining our goal difference. And hey, we drew them in Paris. So a draw is great because we didn't beat them where they can get like a, a motivational team talk before the match to try and get their revenge, you know. But also shows that we can get something from them. One corner kick goal apiece for the two teams that were involved in that match in Paris way back. Who's the team's MVP? I don't know, chat. Who do you think? As long as we're still in the cup, we can finish last in the league and still get into Europe. That's true. And PSG's out of the cup, so I we've got to be looking at it as a real chance. Especially if we win this game. But I'm just a little tired of the fixture congestion, to be perfectly honest. So either win the cup or not. Dude, there are, the expectations are to win. Lille is top two in the league. That's bold. So you say it would be Kovacevic, Rodier, Sami Puck, Rodier easy. Mokowena, not bad. Bondo, bad boy, obviously. Couple of a uh, couple more people saying Bondo, Mocha Winna, but Bondo's the homie. <laughs> Fair. No, Doggo, he's been working on that series for like actually months. It's fantastic. Shurinkov, thank you for the three months. I don't watch that much uh the stuff. So here's some money from Daddy Bezos so you can keep making more good stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me five dollars of Bezos' money. I appreciate it. Also, chat, let's just take a moment. Something we haven't done in a while that I feel like we should do. Hi, YouTube. It's been it's been a while since I said hi. I have no good reason. I just forgot. But I do read the comments almost every day from the live channel, and I appreciate all of the uh, advice, perhaps, that you're giving us for transfers or who you like or who you don't like. It's like the same as Twitch chat. It's just delayed, and I appreciate it. Welcome to this. I, I'm sorry you couldn't be at the actual stream, but welcome to the stream. And hopefully we've got a couple more wins on tap for you today, yeah? Thank you guys for helping me say hi to YouTube. All right, chat, what are we thinking? Conservative or aggressive? Aggressive? All right. We're going to go aggressive then. No, our new. We're just going to make sure he's ready for PSG, but we've got the 4 4 2. No, 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 no. Sorry. I forgot they play that silly 4 4 2 chat. It's not a question anymore. This silly 4 4 2 gives us loads of problems. Absolute pile of issues with this silly little 442. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with it. I just don't want to deal with it. I just don't want to deal with it. They gave us loads of problems with this, or this here 442. It gets all over all the different parts of our team, you know, and did all over it. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to line up. Uh, sorry, I know you guys just said aggressive, but we're going to line up with the conservative moves. Because that 4-4-2 is a problem for our more aggressive tactic. Coupe de France, baby. Let's freaking go. Quarterfinal. First time we're playing a top flight team in the Coupe de France. And it's all the way in the quarterfinal, which we're very thankful for that. But it's also weird. It feels like we're being just injected into the later stages of the competition. Almost like we haven't even earned it. But we have. You know? I actually read a lot more YouTube comments than I'd like to admit. I would say on most videos, at least the first few days the video's out, I read basically everything. 
So I try and limit how many times I open like Instagram or Twitter. So the only it's like the only procrastination available. Oh, come on! Oh! It's Jan Schumacher, and it's Saint Etienne with the early lead. The fox in the box is there again from Joel Indala. Oh, let's win silverware this year, chat. Let's do it. I am the special one. Oh, terrible jump from Vanden Bowman to open that up. There's no team left in this tournament that we are scared of. We're very respectful of Lille, but there's no team left in this tournament that we are scared of. I'm only scared of PSG. Oh, dude, Bravo's in his era right now. Touched it through that guy. Smacked it into row Z. That's more like it. Haruo. Mika Fey. Ekomier. Shelter up. Let's it run. Faces up. Yeah, maybe if uh, Schumacher was a little more opportunistic, could have gotten a toe to that. That was a tricky ball to mess around with. Oh, nice header by Ruo. Shelly. Oh, I liked the idea. It's a great run by Bondo. He was going for it immediately. Ruo. He's got Bondo. First time to Schumacher. Jan Schumacher, look at the speed. Oh, if he was right-footed, that would have been a huge chance. Look at the separation. Schumacher five. Oh, hell yeah. Come on. Ruo, Mika Fey, Pedro Bravo. Or Shelter up, obviously. Shelly. Oh. Come on now. Uh, it's a good idea. Where is anybody? It's a, I love that spinning pass towards the back post. Mikkel Brinsis. Nice touch. Come on. Stay after him. Right in front of the away fans. Bury him. Branco. Bravo. Ah. What a start to the match from the boys here. Controlling the match from a reserved position. Wasn't even part of our plan. Oi. They're just forcing it real quick, and we're able to get a hold of the ball. Nice, Schumacher. Nice, Jan. Franco. Wow, that's classy. Bravo. Bondo. Oh, nice. Vision. I didn't even see that. Ecomier. Jacques Ecomier, shoulder a ball! That is sumptuous. That's delectable. It's unstoppable from Saint Etienne in the Coupe de France. I uh, know I won't be leaving here. Jacques Ecomier, the left back who is on the team when we got here, which is such a rare sight two years ago. He was on the team that got relegated two years ago, and he's still delivering. Great run, great pass. Do it in the league. True, we did lose to them in the league, but we just won our last league match. Ah. Franco, Shelley, Andreas, Shelder up. Okay, it's Jalendala. Schwellendala. Schwellendala. Shelder up!
That's what we're about. The best team in France, baby. Get it right. The best team in France. Running Leal off the field. 3-0 first half in the cup. It's all coming together. Oh, and it's open. And it's Andreas Schellerup, who already has a brace. Shelley. Okay. Long staff, fair enough. They get baited forward. There is an open ball to Ober Ober Oberlin. Wow, and Dallas playing defense. That's when you know we're on. Get out of his freaking way, Vanden Bowman. Come on. Come on. Get out of his freaking way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sid, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we're on that all day. Jacques, surely not. I'm dropping frames because of Schumacher's speed. True, can't keep up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. I need some background on this. Have been following you for a while. You try so hard to make it appear that you like football as an American with captions and everything. Everything spelled W-V-E-R-Y-T-H-I-G-N. You caught me. My whole life is a lie. You caught me. I don't know what to say. Sorry, Thap. Thank you for giving the Gimple the Fish uh, a sub. Sips, thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate it. Let's go. Thanks for supporting the stream. How could I? Dang it. Yeah, I'm just so desperate for fame that I decided to be the American that plays football manager on Twitch. That's why I do it. I do it for the cars and the, the fame. Yes. My famous friends like Dr. Benji, that's why we do it. That's why I spend every day of my entire life watching soccer, playing football manager, because I don't like it. I actually hate it. Should I just do it for the fame? <laughs> Stream an FM for clout. I love that. Yes. Subs for PSG freshness. Thank you. Very, I was getting distracted. I was having too much fun. Schumacher has a knock. Not in my America. Those five. Schumacher has a freaking knock. Schumacher five. Man, we are doing a good job of uh, locking things up, but we have not put the better team in the second half. Yeah, you only started the channel to one day interact with Carl Jacobs. Dude, I'm pretty sure I was doing YouTube before Carl was. 
I'm pr so like when I started, I wouldn't have even known Carl was just like in college wherever he was. But yes, that was that was the reason. Despite all of that, no, good save, Kovacevic. Come on, guys. Same ish happened last time. All right, let's take this off now. Come on. Am I Carl's old friend? No, we met at a Twitch event uh, about two years ago, about a year and a half ago. Year and seven months. Back. This copy boss is freaking awesome, also. <laughs> What was my first FM save? The first one I played all the way through was Celtic in Scotland. Um, won the Champions League eventually after a lot of heartbreak. It was very fun. Got me, obviously, it's the save that got me into the game. Big performance from Kovacevic. Surely not. Mo He did not take a bow, son. Oh, my goodness gracious. Cabela Mokowena against the world. Gets by that man, pulls it back, destroys the entire defense. Pinpoint shot. I mean, oh, he's, oh, that steak is well done, brother. That steak is well done. Get it off the grill. It's well done. Dude. Freaking goal of the season for a guy that came in. Yeah, while well, we love Mokowena. He's been a stormer of a year. What a goal. Just 1v4 against the back line. Quick, decisive, creative. Yeah, Bravo getting the assist on that. Like, well, I did half the work. Hey, Mokoena. Hi. Running at the goal is Cabela Mokoena. Asking for the ball is Cabela Mokoena. Scoring the goal is Cabela Mokoena. Hey, Mokoena. Hi. Terrible defending by the left back. I mean, yeah, he got skinned alive, but that is a brilliant play by Mokoena. That dude was 300,000 from the South African League. I feel like Ange signing Japanese players at Celtic. I went back to my roots and found a freaking stud. Mokoena is a region, yeah. Wow. What a freaking goal. to stop that all the chances they've had and that's the goal we give them are you serious <laughs> yo Chambly is still nil nil wow the third division team is actually hanging around in the quarterfinal that's crazy I would love to play them in the final. That'd be sick, because we're playing Marseille or whoever the hell they're playing. Louise me! I have a sub, I think. No, I don't. I literally made all five at the 60th minute. That's how confident I was in our 3-0. Uh, has there been a goal so good from past saves that you still remember it? Uh, I remember goals usually more for their importance than, like, the actual absurd quality of the goal. Like, I remember Roquero scored a banger in the Europa League final. That's the one that sticks out to a lot of people from the Taunton Town save was Roquero's laser beam. Um, it was quite the goal. 
I know Jimmy Roach scored like four a season, but the goals he scored were amazing. He had a long, majestic run goal, too. We have played an awful second half outside of Moka Wena's incredible performance, but you know what? We had a 3-0 lead. We've managed our way to victory with PSG coming up in a couple of days. Got to be happy with that. Yo, Mikkel Brinsis, let's not. Not give them any. Okay, he's given it to them twice in 15 seconds. I remember all of Lee. No, I remember uh, in Owen Vanderhorst's goal where the kind of legend of Owen Vanderhorst grew a little bit, the American midfielder that we had on um, Florence Dorfer and that magic bending left foot that he had. I remember Daniel Aguero scoring. And what was a last second winner in a cup for us when we were with Taunton? I remember Marco Harris' goal to win me the Champions League on FM 14. Ran around my apartment. Oh, yeah, he shins goal. That's one of the best goals any like ever scored on a save. Scissor kick volley on a deflected ball out from a corner. Just vicious from a 5-4 Chinese midfielder. How could you not love that? Oh, not one. Bruised ankle, all right. He'll at least be available on the bench against Paris Saint-Germain. Hey, we're in the cup semifinal. Where's Alamela? He's loaned out. He's playing in the second division as an important player. We figured that was a good deal, trying to develop him more. Has he been important? Bad Boy was important last year. He's played a few matches for us this year, but in the January window, we figured best for his development was to move him, especially with the uh, Wonder Kid right wing we were able to bring in. Bad Boy's already done so much work for us. He's already done so much work for us. I feel like we collectively forget about the Dragons save, Oriental Dragons. I, I don't. I mean, I still re Nancy Carlinen, uh, Ja Silva. I think Ja Silva scored a particularly insane goal at one point. But Ja Silva, you know, FM Saint from the Oriental Dragons save. Nancy Carlinen, Johan Kernan's goal. Is that the? Um, yeah, this is the goal for uh, He Shin. For those that didn't didn't watch it live or had caught up with their Zealand lore. So this is He Shin. He's a 5'4 Chinese midfielder, and he catches one mighty sweet here. Catches one mighty sweet. There's touch to clean things up when they kind of trickle through like that, but back-to-back -back hat tricks? Oh. <gasps> Meme Lord, oh, Meme Lord He Shin with the scissor kick oh. volley. <laughs> First goal of the season, baby. What a freaking goal, dude. What a freaking shot. Said he shinned it. Nice. How's Bondo training well and getting worse for the first time? What is that all about? I like Warren Bondo. Don't make him get worse. Nicholas Arnoux is improving. He's already good, though. Nicholas Arnoux, already a high-quality player with a professional mentality, 20 determination, creativity, all the things you love to see. So scissor kick, I mean, he brings up his left foot to get the momentum for his right foot. He's not scissor kicking sideways. Oh, move the camera back. Oops. Okay, it's back, guys. Camera's back. Oh, oh. Okay, now it's back. Sorry.
Oh no. They finally got me. We might need to sit down for this. There we go. Got to know all the tricks. Just control Q. Unlocked it. Just It's always very weird about the whole reserve. Like when you go to your reserve team and you're trying to make the guys available. It's always very weird about that. Oh, yeah, it's the next day. We're fine. Does remind me, I don't think we've... S no, we have saved today. Okay. Never mind. I do have my post-match autosave on. Dude was standing? Yeah, I got a standing desk. We're living in the year 3000. Do -do -do -do. Uh, this journeyman save is somehow how I found your channel. How are, nice. How are things? Uh, they're good. Having a good time. You know, we just got a good win in the quarterfinal of the cup, so we're on to the semis. Um, we're about two streams ahead from the live, but it catches up over the weekend, so you are skipping ahead in the story a bit, but you can always go back and watch the rest and fill in. Um, it's always fun to be here live, you know, hanging out, vibing, peanut pot sauce. You're going to make me freaking hungry, dude. All right, this would be the real stunner. If we win this match, we are level with PSG on points with 11 matches to play in the league. That would be the bee's knees. That would be the business. Montiel, obviously, and Ramsey, although we loved what we got from those two guys before. Faye and Ruo are ready. Bondo and Vanden Bowman are ready, but we're going to get Jao Martins and go with our three quality players here. Uh, Branko Vanden Bowman's going to go with a... Uh, a defensive midfielder on support, I believe. No, 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 no. I go with a defensive midfielder on defense. I, I, I'm just going to anchor him. Frickin' anchor, dude. Yeah, I don't want him to take less risks. Okay. So anchor is a no, but defensive midfielder on defend is a yes. Uh, where is our new Joel Indala? Definitely somebody we want to have on the bench for this match, though. So my camera's wrong. Oh, okay. I'll put it. I'll put it back. I love that. Zealand knows. He's aware. <laughs> oh, no. For my last 7K and a state at the end win. Well, we're hoping we're going to give you a real big payday, all right? All right, PSG, I heard you guys suck. You ready to rock? Hakimi's injured, but they're playing him because they're having such a weird season. All right. Saint at the end, at home, against Paris Saint-Germain. We drew them in Paris on an unbelievable 90th minute equalizer from Kovacevic, our goalkeeper, off a corner. We've just advanced to the semifinal of the French Cup with a dominant win over Lille, at least dominant on the score sheet. They were very good in the second half and put up a, like, 2XG. And we are currently in sixth in Ligue 1. A win in this match would announce our presence as a real contender for a top four spot towards the end of the season. Seven, eight matches into the year, it looked like we'd be real lucky just to finish top half of the table. But we figured things out as a team. We've added some key pieces. And we're already on the move. There you go, get back. 
Nice, Martins. Love the composure there. Kovacevic confidently taking it off the outside of the foot. Important. Mika Faye, good. Ruo, good. Martins, good. Shelter up. Oh, yeah. Branko. Yes. We're getting through their press. We're getting through the press. It's our new. Oh, he could have just squared that to Mokoena. Yeah, PSC's loaded. There's no excuse for them not doing well in the league this year. Oh, good save, Kovacevic. Vladan Kovacevic meeting Dio Upamakano to get that ball out. We, uh, we need to compete a little harder. I know we don't have Bravo for these corners, but can't be giving them a free run. That's my center back that closed that down. I actually love that. He really did a good job of pursuing that, made them work for it. He was closest man to it. Didn't really close him down the way I wanted us to. Oh, we're there. Nice tackle, Arnu. Mokowina was going. Oh, my goodness. What a save by Kovacevic. What a save by Kovacev. It's just a great header by Dembele. Just kicks out the calf. Sends it around the post. We're not, we don't look good right now. Well, that was a fever dream and terrifying. Oh, nice, Arnu. Look at the wing. You got Mokoena. So I'm Montiel here. I don't know what he's doing pinching in so much. But once this ball comes into the middle, Montiel leaves and marks. Oh, I guess he had to. We just got uh, overrun. Really, the issue is when Mika Fey went with Mbappe. We need Ruo to be further over. And the fact that there are four midfielders in the wake of their left back just opened this up. And then he has so much pace, Montiel can't recover his position at all. We have to get stuck in on, right? Yeah, stop the closing down. We were down one nothing last time, but we worked our way back. Worked our way back into the game. But now um, we, we've looked really bad today. We need to demand more shout. We've, we've looked like we're not even at the park today. I mean, it's one thing to be, you know, to give up that last goal because Nuno Mendez dribbles all the way through our midfield, but we've given up a couple of big chances on corners. Yeah, that's just, that's heart. You got to be there. We got to be ready. Can't let them, I just can't let PSG score set piece goals on you. You're not gonna have a chance. I would prefer not to talk about it, so just don't bring it up, all right? I'd prefer not to talk about it. All right, let's go with Indala and Simic for Ramsey. Got some guys that have been doing real poorly.
That's what we need. Get in the way of the damn shot. Kovacevic is standing on his head. Uh, Bravo, you're coming in. Vanden Bowman's anxious. Uh, we need Bravo for set pieces. We apparently cannot defend set pieces without Pedro Bravo. So he needs to help erase. I mean. Uh, utterly embarrassing effort. Two goals off corners. We They could have four goals off corners. Um, sure, they've been pretty good on us in the run of play, but I don't know what's going on with our ability to defend set pieces right now, but it is utterly shameful. We have everybody back, too. It's not like we are trying to set up a counterattack or anything. We already have everybody back in the box. Absolute mental breakdown here. Like we don't even, it's like we have eight players in the field or something. Thank you. Wow, we look like a team that's actually trying to do, good Lord, man, you are fast. What is that? How are you getting reeled in there? Martins just set you up so well. That's what speed looks like. Mokawena, come on. There we go. Wow, we, uh, we're doing actual real team things. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's just, you know, not lose eight to nothing here. The issue is, like, I know if they're on fire, like, if they're really cooking, obviously they're going to beat us. But they're not. We're spotting them goals, all, you know, half their XGs from corners. They're not on fire. We're just really bad. That was a pathetic first half. It's true. Um, wish I could sub you all out, but I can't. What I will do is get Shelter up out for Maxime Rodier. Um, we've already brought in our center back sub and Ruo's on a 6.1. So I guess you're just going to have to figure it out. I got to save one sub for like at least the 60th. Or we just have to make that sub. That's why we hung on to the last sub. Hopefully Indala's okay. Dude, I'm going to see PSG corners in my nightmare. Since when are we so bad defending a corner? Against PSG. At least we didn't get up a header towards the goal that time. Like, what is that? We lost this match. This match got completely out of hand because we could not defend a corner. We just couldn't at all. Kovacevic has made so many saves on corners. Yep, bring it back. Oh, wow. Simich, that was actually really nice. He's on. Rodier, have it with a little venom, please. How's the jumping reach for our defenders? It's good. We're usually a very good set piece team. This is not a problem we've had all season, really. It's just a problem that we had today for whatever reason. Put forward an absolutely embarrassing performance. Four goals in 38 minutes at home. We've had a very good season. We did not have a very good game. We were not ready to play this game. 
Oi. No, I don't think the team necessarily lacks anything. I, I think that relative to PSG, we lack a serious amount of talent. Um, and we, you know, Branko Vandenboom wasn't up to leading the troops today. And we got fallen down the slip and slide early and we couldn't turn ourselves back. Really a pointless goal. Hasn't been much to speak of in this second half. too deep bravo it's too deep there's nobody there all right surely dude run what are you doing run there's one defender bro Okay, we have, I will, like, we got our ass kicked in this match. No ifs, ands, or buts. We've had two counterattacks that should have been goals. <laughs> like, that one with Moko when it was in on goal by two steps and somehow got caught, and that was a four-on-one, and Rodier slowed down like he was going to have to try and beat Nuno Mendez Nuno Mendez one-on-one. I'm like, no, if he comes near you, you just pass it. That's why I'm scared of PSG. I hate throws bottle because if there was ever a spot to throw the bottle, I feel like it would be now, and yet it just never works. There's a reason I don't actually do it, is it just it just never works. It never works. All right, well, we are uh, through that fixture congestion. Only two potential. Oh, he sprained his ankle. Damn. I don't know when the semifinal is. Oh, it's quite a ways away, so we'll be able to get out of the fixture congestion, get our first team clicking again. Okay. All right. I can work with that. Octi, thank you for the year, my brother. Appreciate you throwing the year down. Thank you for supporting the stream. Time flies and you're avoiding work. Love that. Sorry to the guy that bet the 7K. Yeah, that was over early. Emil Reb, thank you for the two months. Bug with no offsides being called with the ball deflects on defenders in FM24. It had happened to me three times in my current FM save. Yeah, it's because football manager thinks the defender is playing the ball, which negates the offside. Um, it's not an issue in the way the match is simulating. It's just an issue in the way the match is showing it to you. Like, remember, the match engine is what's calculating what should happen, and then the actual graphics engine is what's showing you what happened. So... Usually when you're like, what the hell just happened? It's the match engine just made a normal decision, but the graphics engine showed you something really weird looking. And you're just sitting there well, like, whoa, whoa, what was that? That's usually the situation that you run into. All right, so we're taking a big shot to the club atmosphere after that last match, but the vibes are still good overall, so I'm not going to say anything. And we are back to seventh, but like I said, as much as we would have preferred it to be a much more competitive match, we haven't really been smacked like that all year. Um, any points in that match would have been a bonus. Uh, so back to nose back to the grindstone. Plenty of matches left to play. Eleven matches, and Europe is right there in front of us. So he is still getting better. Love to see it. He's worth 42 to 61 million. He was purchased for 350,000 six months ago. Man, Rodier is only 19. Rodier is only 19 years old. My goodness. I would have thought he was 20 by now. I thought him and uh, Lalamella were like the same age. He might be turning 20 soon, but. 
Oh, what's PSC's wage spend in comparison to ours? Their wage spend is like four hundred fifty million a year. Ours is like sixty. There's is there's like dwarfs the league. It's uh four hundred forty two million a year. We're ninth in the league, spending forty eight million over the last year on wage. Montpellier is only spending nineteen. That's insane. They're actually not that bad either. That's crazy. Juan Maldonado. I really want Juan Maldonado. But you don't want me, man. And they don't want to sell him for anything less than $81 million, and they're going to have to wait a while if they want that $81 million. Do, 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 do. Schumacher back from food poisoning. Awesome. Mocha went also didn't have the best game in that last match, but I mean, nobody had the best game in that last match. So really unfair to just be like, yo, Jan, what are you doing? I didn't feel the need to sub you out 30 minutes into the match like Arnu and uh, Ramsey. Freaking duds. Do do Jacques Ecomier tight hamstring. I like Jacques. Hard you had to say due to a rate type of game. I think it's just they they were they were cooking. They were cooking and we weren't, and those two things happened at the same time. Uh because if we were cooking, we would have lost that match like 2 0. But we weren't. We were very much not. And we got blown away on set pieces, which are usually a plus point for us. Even after I brought Bravo in. Bra Bravo did help clean it up, but we gave up a goal right after I subbed Bravo in, and that was frustrating. Because Bravo is our number one set piece eraser. Which is why he normally starts, but he was a little too tired to start that match. Let's be sure we work on defending corners going into this match just to get rid of any residual yips. On corner defense. Kovacevic was cooking, absolutely. That that match could have been 4-5-0 in the first 20 minutes. Vladan Kovacevic had a good match. He made some really big point-blank saves on the corners, but he shouldn't have needed to do that. They don't, I mean, Jude Bellingham's good, obviously, on corners, but they're not exactly blessed with, like, unbelievable... Uh, aerial people. We weren't getting dominated by guys with 18 jumping rates, you know. I just didn't want it as much as they did. And it showed. Away against Stad Rene, which is actually a very big six-pointer. Because they're right behind us in the league. We're in fifth, and they're in uh, fourth. That's so not true. They're in eighth. We're in seventh. I have no idea where I got those numbers from. What are blue cards? They're a card between yellow and red that uh, IFAB is going to be putting in. Uh, that or It's a 10-minute red card, basically. It's a 10-minute timeout. That's what it is. A chat. We will play that very important pivotal game tomorrow that is where we are going to leave things thank you to everybody that subscribed we're going to raid somebody so stick around for that let's go make somebody's day but i really appreciate everybody that's got the bacon next to their name everybody that's here at all but everybody that subscribes allows us to do what we do uh twitch has given us even more of that money now and so it, it really means a lot like that panic thank you for the 11 months I had to put some shelves up at work afterwards got a tool to check how they looked it was wrong on so many levels C plus. I liked it. Now get our copy pasta together. Let's go raid people. Love you guys. Fist bump. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go find somebody whose uh, day could use a little spice, a little flavor, you know? A little spice. Just a little spice, you know? A little spice. But up,
Do, 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 do. All right, got it. Mocha Winna did score like the goal of the season though today, and that was awesome. So the Mocha Winna copy pasta definitely fitting. Check out the new Zealandism videos. There's like more than one a day going out right now. New video came out on the Zealand channel, obviously, about my boy Roy Krishna. It was awesome. So if you haven't seen any of that stuff, go check it out. Live channel will catch up this weekend. So you got to make sure you watch this whole thing if you're going to be there tomorrow. Ooh. See ya. See you tomorrow. All right, word of the day. Ooh. Fissile. Fissile, not fizzle. Fissile, F-I-S-S-I-L-E. All right, this is a long one. Fissile describes materials that are capable of undergoing fission. That is, the process in which the nucleus of a heavy atom is split apart, releasing a large amount of energy. Fissile can, be also, can also be used to describe something such as wood or crystals capable of or prone to being split or divided in the direction of the grain along natural planes. The wood of most conifer species is fissile, making it much easier to cut than that of a sycamore and hornbeam. Nice. Fissile.